Hello and good morning. Welcome to Sunday. And uh, the reason I'm wearing the same dust as yesterday is because I didn't know I was going to be here this morning. I had to sleep with my mum last night uh, amongst the electric blanket, which she tried to make me turn off. But there was an argument. I was cold. Why is it that women of that age are always boiling hot? What is that about? I'm like, mum, I'm freezing. You can't have the window open. I was in my own bed in my mum's house. And she came in and turned the electric blanket off on me because she thought I might catch fire in the night. And I went, if I was on fire, at least I wouldn't be dying of frostbite. <laughs> uh, and there was a, it went on to the bed. Oh, in the end, I had to turn the thing off. Soon she got out of the room, I put it back on again. Uh, now, today, this morning, we've got loads of goodies for you. But in, really importantly, well, there's two very important things that I need to tell you firstly. Firstly, I am joined by the luscious Debbie. Hello, my lovely. Hello, good morning. Lovely to see you. Because I haven't worked with you for ages. I know, yeah. it's lovely. It's not really work, is it? No, not really. A bit cheating, really, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is yeah. really. Yeah. It's like turning up somewhere, having a bit of fun and going out. Don't say that, though. Don't say that. Though. Don't say that. Massive crime. <laughs> <laughs> if someone wants to pay us to do it, then uh, all the better for it. I've got black diamonds for you today. Have a look at these. Gorgeous. I'm joined by Mateu on cameras. Mateu, last night I dreamt you had a full-on beard. Just want you to know that. <laughs> oh, I've, oh, the little tassel came off. Never mind, they're, they're still on there. I'm just going to have a little cough. <coughs> Sorry. It's the Earl Grey going down the wrong way. Well, all girls love diamonds, don't we? Don't we all love diamonds? Oh, they never let you down a diamond, do they? Give them a quick rub and they're sparkling like new. Look at that. Gorgeous. If you want to own these black diamonds, and I, uh, Sammy, yesterday, who was on with me, I got all Gloucestershire. One night in the Shire and I'm on back to normal again. Uh, she was on with me yesterday and uh, she had black diamonds for her birthday and loved them. Absolutely loved them. Now, please send us a text message this morning because if you don't, I'll feel lonely. This is the number to text now. You text your message, but start your message with the word JM Studio. If you don't do that, if it doesn't start JM Studio, it will not get to us. And then send it to 60777. Now, your normal network charges will apply. We don't charge you any extras. It's normal text messaging. Uh, so get texting us. We want to know what you're up to. It feel, it's Sunday today, isn't it? But it doesn't feel like a Sunday, which is weird to me. It just doesn't feel like a Sunday. Um, I don't know what day it feels like. I don't normally work on a Sunday, mind, do I? You see? It still feels like, it feels like, you know, when you're in the summer holidays when you're young, and you're not really sure what day it is. I kind of feel a little bit like that. So keep messaging us this morning. Let us know what you're up to. Uh, I want to know what you're roasting. Give me uh, more secrets for extra crispy roast potatoes, because you can never have enough tips about roast potatoes, can you, Debbie Bulford? No, I quite agree quite agree. My mum went through a phase of slicing them. I think, uh, who's the who's the chef that used to always get drunk whilst he... Keith Floyd, that's it. Yeah. He used to always have wine and get absolutely bladdered <laughs> as he was just drunk making it up as he goes along. He had the best job. He so did. He's going to get really he drunk did. and cook. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, cr perfect crime. Now, who's to say I'm not really drunk right now? I'm not. I'm not. Now, I drove in this morning. I would never do that, you see. Now, I'm going to start off with your early bird, which are polymer clay or PCM. PCM? No, PMC. PMC. Got, that right. Got that right wrong way. Oh, there's a letter missing. Tis the letter Z. Sorry, it's not my fault. Oh, actually, it probably is my fault. Anything technological and me just don't happen together. Even my car's giving up on me. You know when it used to tell you how much petrol you had and all, give you messages and all, it just stopped. Just like nothing. I ain't getting nothing from it no more. <laughs> it's like not giving me anything. It's like not, my car's not speaking to me, basically. It's not speaking to me. Anyway, the Z's missing from here. That's probably not speaking to me either. It's gone. Now, you have got Precious metal clay. If, and, and let me explain that because you might be thinking, well, what on earth is precious metal clay? Precious metal clay is amazing. It is clay that you fire and it turns into metal. It's a little bit like sorcery, really. I mean, we won't go into my definition of magic and yours of science because I actually think science is another word for magic. It's a long story and a big argument that I will have with my brother over and over again. 
but anyway, it, it is like magic, precious metal cake, and you can do it with sterling silver. Well, no, it's not sterling silver. It's fine silver, even better than sterling silver, because its purity content is much higher. 99.9%. Uh, fine, fine silver, pure silver. So it's the best way, I think, of um, of trying to sort of reach out and become more of a jeweller than a jewel jewellery maker. So you, here are some essentials. Now you've got your roller here. Now this is particularly important because if you use a wooden roller, wood is porous so it can stick, whereas this isn't. You've got, is it called a snake roller, this one? It's not, this isn't no, the snake roller, No, that's just an acrylic roller. Uh-huh. Um, and, and this can be used also for polymer clay, is that right? Yes, yes it can. Yeah, but don't, don't use one for the silver and then straight onto the polymer because it will react. Ooh. So make sure that you clean it what properly. What kind of reaction? Um, if you put that then onto the silver, it could, could, re could react with the silver and you don't want to put polymer clay into oh, your it silver clay. Oh, it or something. Yeah, okay, yeah. a bad reaction, not a brilliant No, because when you fire it, then you'll get pits where... No, 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 no. If you've got a little bit of polymer clay on there and it sticks to the silver, obviously when you fire it, you're going to get a dip, aren't you, where oh, the polymer yes, is. Yes, so of you are, just yeah. be careful. Okay, so make sure it's fully clean if you're going to mix it. Now, I've also got... Now, these cutters are quite important because I've heard on the old grapevine, I hang around with quite a few designers, you know, me and Versace were like that. Uh, we're not, we're not. Me and Debbie Belford are though. And um, I want to show you this particular cutter is so, and it's, it sounds completely mad, but this tiny little tube is ridiculously hard to come by. Many people have searched for it, but hardly any have found it. <laughs> <laughs> until now, Debbie Bolton. Yes, that's quite right, because usually polymer clay artists or silver clay have to go and buy lots of straws and cut the end off, and you try oh, yeah. and get that off the plastic, plastic off plastic, it sticks. So, um, you have to blow through the straw to you get do, it out. You do, So that's perfect, because it's good for the little holes for the bales, it's just big enough. It's just the right size, also for making wonderful dots that are perfect, you want to make a toadstool or something yes. like that. Yes, and also it hasn't got a seam clay. on it, so you don't get a bump where the seam is. And that's important. Because important. when you pop it out, you don't want it to have the seam on it. Because yeah. well, if you, well, you might if that's what you're looking for, but in this case, not. Then we're going to get the rest of the cutters. So they all come sort of uh, size graduated. That little lighter there, you want to get out of there, love. Hang on. Now, you are getting, I think it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the cutters. So all your sizes. Now you also get your acrylic sheets. Uh, these, these really need to have all, all had their little paper bits taken off them because they look rather unsightly, don't they? You take that off. Come on. Let's have a bit of neatness and order. Now, um, so those with the paper on them that look like a bit of paper. Now, these are essential for rolling, um, for also cutting, Debbie. Yeah, for shaping your design. So if you wanted to get a square or an even shape on either side of your pendants or designs, then these are very good for pushing the clay into um, a straight mm -hmm. edge. Or you can use them uh, to do bicones. You can use they are like called that. snake rollers. I love doing a bicone. <laughs> or you can do your n nice long snakes of clay ready for your bezels. So this is great, and you've got the wet and dry sanders as well. So uh, those are brilliant for those finishing touches. Now you also get the graded plastic container. Now graded plastic, I mean you can't just go into a, a shop where everything's a pound and get graded plastic. Graded plastic is important if you are going to be storing your polymer clay because it won't eat into the plastic. Polymer clay is rather rascally and will try and eat into other it is greedy and quite rude, if you ask me. Uh, we're going to give you a wonderful early bird deal, MEQ. Now, there is a letter missing from your code. The letter is Z. Or if you're watching us from America, Z. I'm sure you know the difference there, right? Uh, 98, jewellery maker, Primo, Sculpey clay tools and storage. It's only £6.95. And, and there are absolutely loads of you on the phone lines and on the website for these already. Don't forget, you can shop on the app. And everything you buy from us here at Jewelry Maker comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Brenda's got two, Victoria in Hertfordshire. It's a lovely place to live. Uh, Annie, Caroline, Denny, Sandra, Brian of Rhonda. That's where our um, Tom Jones comes from, Rhonda, doesn't he? Oh, I'm going to see Tom Jones. I am in August. Oh, yeah. yeah, I am. Fabulous. Go to V Festival and Tom Jones is there. I'm quite excited. Absolutely loads of you there. I do love a Robin. I do love a Robin. Do you? I do. I do love it. I think Robins are lucky. Do you know that? Uh, now, I'm going to give you 
I think I ought to challenge you. You look far too calm there. Okay. Let's see. Some fluorite? Mm hmm Nice. I do love a bit of fluorite. Now, the, the thing about fluorite is, well, the word fluorescent comes from fluorite, and it's because this is a gemstone that has the ability to fluoresce. When you put it in certain light conditions, it glows, and it does it naturally. There's nothing, nobody's injected it with, with anything that's going to make it glow, hasn't been to the nuclear power plant. It literally does this. Out of the ground, Mother Nature gives us something that naturally glows. I always think like fireflies and glowworms. Like glowworms are real, aren't they? You mm -hmm. can actually get real glowworms in America. Don't you think that's amazing? Fireflies and glowworms. I know. Mother Nature's fabulous, isn't it? I'd love a glowing bottom. <laughs> I would literally <laughs> love that. It would be the best party trick ever, wouldn't it? Oh, Life's got out again. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> have a look, because you've got oh, dear. two different sizes, both faceted rounds. Now, I'm thinking Debbie Bolford. I'm thinking tassels. I'm thinking long, dangly earrings. I'm thinking texture, but subtlety of colour. You've got some lovely, classy shades here, and, and, and they are very subtly moving from one to, to other. Oh, they are. And I don't think we've seen a lot of fluorite actually on the channel. It seems to come out this time of year, but I can't remember seeing that for a long, long time. So it's lovely to see it back. I'll agree with you there because we did have a flurry of fluorite. And uh, we yeah. had, uh, do you remember when we had that lovely golden fluorite in? And that yes. was a particular period when we had a lot of it. But we don't see it so much anymore. I know Mark Smith's really, really keen on fluorite. It's, it's lovely. It's got such an amazing colour range. And if you are one of those people who, one of those designers who love to colour graduate, then this is a great one for it you. It is. Well, there's it? a lot of things on today's show that will go beautifully with it as well, which is lovely. Get yourself on the blower for this, 0800 644 uh, You can, of course, shop online. It's on the w's.jurymaker.com. If you haven't got the app, download it, because you can be in the supermarket and you can just be watching and, and ordering stuff. <laughs> you do it in the bath. Yeah, I, I, do a lot of, I do a lot of stuff on, in the bath. I listen to the archers in the bath. That's my thing. I haven't listened to it in a long time, though. HZGC36 is your item code. I'm in a mood with Ruth, you see, so I can't listen to it. Jacqueline, you've already got yours. Jewelry maker of Warwickshire, Jean in Kent, you've got yours. £10.90 and pence for the two on an ordinary day. But I'm here, so it can't be an ordinary day. <laughs> 8 95 for two genuine gemstone strands. Now remember, you could walk into your beadery, your local beadery. We've got one in Hitchin near where I live. And um, you're going to see synthetic beads or glass beads for more than you are getting two natural genuine gemstone strands for these are not treated in any way they're totally natural any early ideas from lady bovar um i shall probably um do a tassel knowing me i think definitely but i want to do something a little bit more delicate because i think these are perfect for the bridal season <gasps> because you, you yes if you bought two or three strands of these you could actually split them for mother of the bride and the bridesmaid and the bride and you've got so many different colors here i think it's a really lovely strand to split all the color color spectrum and you see you see fluorite used a lot in bridal um oh. jewelry and, and in the bouquets which look fabulous. I never knew about fluorite until I worked at Gems TV. No, I didn't either. I didn't either. And the, the array of colours are stunning. They're so delicate. Isn't it amazing how many gemstones we, that are out there that we... I, I found a, a brand new one that I'd never seen before yesterday, a type of Rutile Quartz. I mean, I've been here for five years. It's amazing mm. how you just lift the lid a little bit. Um, you de delve deeper and deeper and deeper and there's so many exciting things that we don't know about it's not all about diamonds emeralds and rubies no, i know they're lovely absolutely not and it's nice to know the history and because this this fluoresces i think it, that is really special me too and you must tell people when they buy it about the history of it and then they'll buy into it and they'll tell other people the story which i think is lovely it should be way more famous this yeah it should it should actually it's an undiscovered gem uh, Sidonia, you've got yours. In fact, you've got two. Hazel, Angela, Linda in Staffordshire's got two. Caroline, Julie, Sue, Mandy, Jacqueline, Doreen, good morning. Uh, jewelry maker in Lancashire and West Yorkshire. Elizabeth, Bet, Jean, loads of you there. £8.95. pence. Incredible, incredible value. Now, I'm going to leave that with you. There are still some available, but we're going to go for a bit of texture now. We're going to give you some chips and nuggets. Now, I'm going to give you Opal. The Opal Essence is amazing. We don't get a lot of strands of Opal. And so I know you're going to be all over this one. Have a look. 
the force is strong with this strand. Can you see it? It's re it, do you know, it's, it's kind of frustrating for me when I can't show. I'm just going to shadow it a little bit because you have got a lot of pin fire in this opal. There is a lot. Can you, it's going to be, if you concentrate on this area here, there's, a, there's probably five or six here that are very, very strong with the opalescence. Let's see if Matteo can find it. It's all in the way I'm wiggling it, isn't it? It's so difficult to show you. Isn't that annoying when I'm trying to... Can you see that? There you go. You can see. You can see that. Can you see? There is some gorgeous opalescence on this strand. Don't forget, you've got a 30-day money-back guarantee with everything that you buy. And, you know, I wouldn't say it if it didn't have strong opalescence. It has, I promise you. Now, you're also getting what looks like preonite. Is that right, Helena? Is it preonite? I love preonite. It reminds... Oh, this is so Roman goddess together. And what was I just saying... I was just saying, Coral was putting my microphone on and I said, don't complain. If we were in the Roman times, you would be giving me a milk bath right now. And she looked at me like I was absolutely mad. And I was like, it's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh, why am I so weird? Uh, so pre, pre and I, this is very Roman goddess for me. But doesn't this look like a peeled grape? Shouldn't we have this loincloth Adonis feeding us? <laughs> <laughs> all the time, like especially on a Sunday. Yeah, quite agree. You should be on a mm. sun lounger with this gorgeous Greek god giving mm. you grapes. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. And wine, mm. cheese, Request it, kisses, please. all of that kind of thing. Yeah. I, I mean, why isn't that a thing? I don't know. Mm. I think we ought to complain, don't I you? I think we should. Yeah. I'm writing a letter to someone that matters. Now, <laughs> this is a particularly special gemstone. Have a look at what I've got for you. Malachite, 100% natural. Now, the thing about malachite, and I'm going to just take these two away. Would you use them together? Yeah, yeah, I think you would. But for me, I would probably put some pearls or something with this malachite. Now, it's 100% natural, this malachite. It's probably the richest of all green gemstones, and it's one that is collected by royalty. It is incredibly striking, this malachite. Now, when we first used to bring you malachite, it was in tiny rounds, in short strands, and it was expensive. It is expensive, this gemstone. Uh, and, and to get it in chips, I don't think that's a regular occurrence, is it? I'm sure if Mr. Smith was watching now, he's on the phone. <laughs> so you've got a gorgeous strand of opal. This is genuine opal. Do, aren't you thinking about the Roman goddess, goddesses and the Greek goddesses? Don't you think that this is very Grecian? It's gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous together. Think gladiator sandals and lovely... Oh, I love their jewellery. Have you seen the film Gladiator and the ladies with their jewellery? Gorgeous. Love it. Me and Fleur, we're into that film. We've both got, we've got, both got sons called Maximus. Now you've got a trio. So you've got your opal. That is October's birth gemstone. Your preonite, beautiful glowing green. And then you've got your very special malachite, usually very expensive. Not today though. Rosemary, Julie, Brenda, jewelry maker in Lincolnshire. How much are you doing it for? Ten eight nine. But you would pay that for the malachite alone. That's a very, 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 very good deal already. You're going to pay that for malachite alone. You've got opal in there. You've got preonite in there. This is a ridiculously low price tag. Has Martha gone out of the room? Is that why you're doing it? Seven ninety-five. AKG C12. Rosemary, Julie, Brenda, jewelry maker in Lincolnshire. Ninetta, Linda, Vicky, and Devon. Martha in Michigan. Hello, Martha. You were with us last night. Wendy and Sarah's got two. Annette in Flintshire. Marilyn, Joe, Emma, Blanca. Uh, I've got loads of you. Karen, Sylvia. It's lovely to have your company. Look at what you're getting. What is that? A strand. £1.33. It's ridiculous. And you know something? These are double strands. Uh, this is the greatest way to get involved with us here at Jewelry Maker. And you know something? If you've never made any jewellery before, it's fine because we're going to give you a free tutorial DVD with your very first order. You're going to get that, pop it in, watch it, have a cup of tea. Uh, and then we've got loads and loads of further education for you. Oh, loads of free download downloads on our website. 
just, it just loads of them. We've got text coming in. Uh, I'm just about, Alan, Alan, good morning, Jenny and Debbie. Is this our Al? Yeah, it is. Hey, I were, I were uh, Facebooking you last night. Uh, good morning, Jenny and Deb and all the gang. Could the morning get any better? Jenny, this early, got to be a hoot. Help me through my ironing. Ironing, Alan? Ironing? <laughs> that makes me want to cry. On a Sunday, why haven't they invented a machine? Right, we've got microwaves, dishwashers, we send rockets to the moon. Why are we ironing? Why hasn't someone invented something that we don't just put the... F you could take it to an ironing lady, but I want a machine, right, that you feed it into and it goes, meep, comes out folded, meep, comes out folded. What's going on? Meep. Like the Jetsons, they didn't have to iron. Shouldn't we be like that now? I quite agree, actually. I mean, who, why have we not invented agree. this? If I you invented ironing. this, you would be a millionaire. Mm. I, I absolutely agree. Helen had just said something completely insane. You don't <laughs> mind ironing. You're never going to get those moments of your life back. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. I would rather, no, I would rather just buy new clothes all the time and discard the old ones, if only I could afford it. So I just buy things that are stretchy, so that when you put them on, your body owns them. That's why. There's a lot to be said for a body con, everyone. Equals zero ironing. And when I do my sheets, this is a boring conversation, isn't it? We're talking about <laughs> ironing. I knew this would happen. Any minute now I'm going to be 35. I knew this was going to happen. I'm talking about ironing. Let's go back to our conversations about you giving me a milk bath, Coral. Now, <laughs> still some of those available. Keep coming for them. Oh, let's have some cabs. Let's have some cabs. Cabochon. I'm just going to get, I've gone all French for zero reason. I'm just going to get my uh, velvety board. It's because I was working with Daniel Johns last night. Yes, yeah, we. The most un-French name you could think of, and he's got it. Daniel Jones? What's his brother's name? Stefan Christophe. And then he got Dan Danny Jones. <laughs> oh. Anyhow, have a look at it. Now, we don't have many checkerboard fasted captions. This is gorgeous. If you love a bit of Soutash. Oh, Deborah Bolfer. Oh, that's lovely. C'est magnifique. Oh, very nice. I like that. We don't get checkerboard fasted captions, Deborah. Not very often. Not very often at all, no. Certainly not in that size. Ooh. That's lovely. Brooch. Nice brooch. Um, I think I would probably do some wire wrapping and have that on a very, very long, really lovely fine gold chain. <gasps> a really long one, you know? Very yes, long. yes. Lovely. I love those. And it's the season for it. Festivals yeah. and yeah. wearing maxi dresses Absolutely. and all that. Kind of sexy, boho sexy, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, really nice. Masala tone. What, like curry? Well, that's the colour of the, the year, isn't it? Masala. Masala. Is that, yes, that, is that what, I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to... It's more of like a, a burgundy, slightly more burgundy than that. But yes, it is. It's, it's on those sort of tones. Like a, a like kind of raw sienna or not? No, more, more, no, more, more of a, more of a burgundy. Uh, like a, um, a leaf in the autumn when it, when it just <gasps> starts to turn. So it's like that browny oh. burgundy colour, oh, you know? that's a lovely really description. Lovely. I like that. Yeah. So this will go with that season's tent. Oh, we've got a skinny one to... Oh, look at this. This is lovely. I'm thinking Zootash with these as well, by the way. Isn't that gorgeous? What a shape. And then I'm going to give you the same in the black. Oh... Oh, I really like these cabochons. Now, if you were to go into a large craft store, you know the big one near you, in a retail park near you, that has a name that rhymes with Bobby Shaft. Martha hates it when I say that. Uh, you'd pay for the large one, the best part of £10, which isn't a bad price. It's just not a jewellery maker price. You have got a large... 40 by 30 millimeter red agate faceted cabochon. You've got a 10 carat red 40 by 14. Oh, I picked up the black one and said red at the same. I wasn't looking, were I? Uh, and the same 40 by 14 millimeters and the same in the black agate as well. 
beautifully lustrous XJGC91 faceted frenzy Batman. Look at 1285, you've got a great deal, especially when you think about how much you would actually pay if you were in Bobby Shaft, but you're not. You're in jewellery maker. £9.95. XJGC91 is your item code. Get them as quickly as you possibly, possibly can. Unbelievable value. 0800 644 655 is the way to do it on the phone lines. Or the w's.jewellerymaker.com if you're shopping online. You know you get a 30-day 30 30 money-back guarantee. I just saw gorgeous, gorgeous Alison, as in Tarry has just bought these. Alison Tarry, what do you love about them? My luscious Antoinette of Belfast, you've got yours. How are you Antoinette? You alright my darling? Miss you. Doreen, Jane, Jacqueline, Andrea, Angela. Jewelry maker in Surrey, you've got yours. Jane and Gwent, you've got yours. I come to Wales next week, mind. Watch out for it. XJGC91, 40 carats in that large agate. 40 carat gemstones, beautiful. If you remember, you can embellish costumes and outfits with these as well. Maybe you're watching, you're a little bit crafty, you've never made jewelry before, but you're thinking, you know what? Because a lot of people do. A lot of people are in um, Andram theater and stuff like that. These are gonna not just stretch to jewelry, there's loads of things that you can do. Remember, we're talking about genuine gemstones. Perfect at this price tag. Three, nine ninety five, that's three pound thirty two each by my calculations. Now, aren't I being tidy today? Aren't I? There's nothing worse half an hour in, she said, there's nothing worse than someone who seeks their own praise, is there? Aren't I doing well? <laughs> 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 Don't you hate that? Well, do you, well, someone goes on about how brilliant, of course, I've done all of this and all of this, and you're like, oh, shut up. Stop <laughs> blowing your own trumpet. <laughs> oh, dear. There's nothing worse than a trumpet blower, is there? Unless they're actually blowing a real trumpet. <laughs> you know what I meant. Oh, dear. Look at these. I love a bit of Labradorite. I oh, do. Oh, that's nice. Isn't it lovely? Oh, that Labradorescence. Now, if you're thinking, well, what is Labradorite? I should tell you, don't panic, Thee. Now, Labradorite is a gemstone that originated from Canada. Well, it, I'm saying it originated. It was first discovered in a state in Canada. In, um, not in, like, a drunken state. In a state in Canada. Like, you know, a state. Mm. The state was called Labrador. Also, they discovered dogs there. Probably not at the same time. Um, now, not, not just any dog, of course, you know the dog that is Labrador, just so we're clear. <laughs> anyway, so they discovered this wonderful gemstone, and what's different about Labradorite is that, well, you can see, can't you, it's got this amazing, it almost looks enchanted, it looks like fairies are trapped inside. And you know what, no one's ever proven that fairies aren't trapped inside here. I'd like to put that out there. Look at that. When the light hits Labradorite, it gives you the most amazing refraction. So it gives you like a light display. It goes doing, doing, doing. The more layers that you've got in Labradorite, the more color you get. And this is fabulous. This has got loads of color. And what you want to see if you possibly can is red, as well as the blues and the greens. And I am seeing red in this one. I've got to get it at the right angle. You know from photographing jewellery, if you've used this before, how difficult it is to see outside of the naked eye. Best to be, uh, best to be looked at with a naked eye. In the last three consecutive years, this has, Helena, you do have a huge point, been voted your very favourite gemstone to work with. And it's because I think it gives you a performance. It, it doesn't just sit there lazily like an oaf of a gemstone. It, it continues to perform. Guest designer Fleur says it's her best selling gemstone, and I love her, so I'm going to listen to her. Now, you're also getting Sodalite. Now, every time I see Sodalite, I think of Deborah Bulford. And I tell you this whether she's here or not, because you made me love Sodalite. Because you said to me, never forgotten it, get Sodalite in your collection because you always know someone who's got a pair of blue denim jeans. In which case, this is going to go. Yeah. You wear a white shirt, blue denim jeans. This is going to look like an amazing stretchy to go with it. Don't we all have a pair of blue denim jeans? Mm -hmm. 
most of us do don't yeah, we we do I just think it's one of those things that you can buy year on year and even if you don't use it this year you know full well that next year that nautical theme is going to come in whether you've got denim jeans or not blue uh -huh. and white come in every single summer but to see it with a labradorite it's a completely different look it's more elegant I think it, and I think that's stunning I love that labradorite strand isn't that fab really is fab it's gorgeous it's got so much texture yeah. it's quite contemporary really summery. isn't it it's really lovely yeah and I'm thinking about sort of sauntering across the ocean not across the ocean but the beach looking onto the ocean I'm not Jesus I can't walk on water <laughs> um, despite the rumors you know I, I just think it's really it's textural mm. it is contemporary you're right so you've got a modern twist but classic in the colors mm. you've got that added extra wonderful power from the Labradorite they look like little pebbles and I could almost yes. see I could almost see just one on a strand for a gentleman because I think it's quite unisex Labradorite mm, actually. A bit of leather. Yeah, on a piece of leather would look mm. really nice. But even just, you could do button jewellery with those, couldn't you, for the you summer? You could, because look, these, and, and the button look is in. It is, it is. If you bring them up to the face, not up to the face, but so you can show their face. I'm twist. I'm really mincing my words today. I'm really making life <laughs> as hard as possible for myself. Aren't oh, no. I? Not just saying it plain and simple. Sorry trying to be more poetic and I don't have the ability in the old brain department so you've got these lovely colors very classic together you've got a trio of gorgeousness is what you've got uh, 250 carats in the solar light center drill fantasy slices they're 9 by 8 to 14 by 9 uh, you've got 250 carats in the center drill to polish small nuggets those are 10 by 8 to 13 by 8 uh, and you've got the Labradorite centre drilled nuggets, those are 14 by 10 millimetres. FPG C20, get yourself on the dog and bone for these. £13.85 for the trio, except it's not. We never just give you a price, do we? We never just lay it on the table. It's the same price, you haven't changed it, Babs. <laughs> £9.95, that's keeping you awake then, Helena, today, my love, and that. You know what to do, but make sure you check out your baskets. By the way, you've got a bottomless basket today. If you shopped with us right from the beginning, you've got all the way to midnight. Two, $2.95 is all you pay. I've got more texts. Keep texting. Hello, Alison, my love. Jenny, woke up with a terrible headache this morning, and you are such a tonic. See, Alison, I love you for that. I would say the last person you want in your area when you've got a headache is me. I'm going to put that out there. I'm squealy, I'm screechy, and usually only terriers can hear me. Uh, but thank you, thank you. I'll give you a, I'm going to send you a kiss on the forehead. You ready? Put your forehead to the screen. Ready? That was a bit of a wet kiss, wasn't it? Mm, yeah, I don't like them. No, no, I hate it when people kiss you and they go, and they're like, no, commit to the kiss. Do you know what I mean? I don't want that half thought about kiss. Yeah, do Just you know in case, you, do you know what I mean? It makes me go, yeah. Don't stroke me either, I hate that. <laughs> Just in case you were going to. Because I, I stroked that, Sammy then. yesterday. I was like, Just give you a little stroke, but don't ever do it back to me because I hate it. <laughs> 995 0800 oh, No, it's triple four. I've been doing that phone number for ages. I should know it in my sleep. Uh, 644 uh, 655. Julie, Christine, Mary, Inez, uh, Susan, Sandra, Linda, Carolyn, Anne. Sidonia, Susan, Linda in Surrey's got two. Maxine, Jackie, Gillian, Marion, Vanessa, or Inessa, Gillian, Stefan. I'm going to do that all next week. You know, when you go to Wales, you just can't help it. Oh, I can't help it. I'm like building up for it, I am. How's it going, all right? Oh, dear. I'll tell you what. Oh, these are beautiful. We've got some beautiful things for you, so we have. Oh, and don't forget Black Diamonds coming up in about an hour. Oh, and 11 o'clock, Zena is taking over. Because you'll have had enough of me by then, let's face it. You've probably had enough of me already, right? All right, Claire, I didn't mean to do that. Claire said, I had enough of you the minute you walked in today, walked straight past the camera when I was recording something. I'm sorry, love. It was a genuine mistake. Listen, you borrowed my lucky hat. It's not anyone's scalp I let under that. Just yours. And it was lucky for you, wasn't it, Claire? I let Claire borrow my lucky racing hat. And what did it see you away with? £140. 
She only put 30 up. See, I told you that hat was lucky. Jewelry maker does not condone gambling, but Jenny Cleary is a big fan of it. Now. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. She said all the Irish were commenting on the hat. Ah, it was a fancy hat, though, so. Now. <laughs> Have a look. It's all about the hat, Claire. Look at these. Ooh la la. I love that yellow rainbow quartz. Hey, we haven't had rainbow coated gemstones in ages. And these are ready for the summer. Love these. I love these. What about going on a summer picnic? Maybe if you're right posh, you're going to watch the polo this year. Well, you can watch it for free anyway, so a lot of people do it. Because uh, I, because where I come from in Gloucestershire, I used to go to Simon's Esther Polo. Because you could just sit and watch it. Oh my gosh, love that. And plus, is there such a thing as a bad looking polo player? Because I'm yet to find him. It's a thing, isn't it? It's a thing. You have to be good looking, perhaps. I don't know. Or good breeding or something. Which is why I'm not allowed to do it. Get out, you mongrel. Now. <laughs> I am a complete mongrel. Have a look. We don't use that word enough. Like, Australians call each other mongrels all the time, don't they? Yeah. Ah, you mongrel? I mean, there's nothing wrong with a good old mongrel. Some of my most faithful friends have been mongrels. <laughs> uh, Danny the dog was perhaps one of my favourite dogs we ever had. Collie Cross Lab. Loved him. Loved that little mongrel and his fluffy chest. You've also got... <laughs> Funny how I could just go off on one, innit, eh? Now, you've also got something rather special that I... Oh, look at those, Claire! You got them dazzling for you, didn't you? Da -da 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 I feel like I should do some kind of move, but I'm no good at that, so I won't. I'm only going to embarrass myself. <laughs> look, ooh! Gebrabel fair. It's lovely, isn't it? Weird. Really nice. Is it going to be a ring? Are you going to wrap it in wire? We're going to see exactly what Deborah's done. Why am I calling you Deborah today? It's like I I'm don't know. You I'm so I don't sorry. Know. It's okay. We're not it's in right? trouble. De do you prefer Debbie, not ever Debs? Uh, my husband calls me Debs, but I was christened Debbie, not Deborah. Oh, you're not Deborah. Mm. Just like I'm not Jennifer, and when people call me Jennifer, I'm like, yeah. no, not. Jennifer! Yeah. Are you doing that in your head? My name's not Deborah! Yeah, my dad doesn't like shortened names, so he had to have Debbie. Oh. Don't know why. I agree with that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Still called Debs. Debs is okay, though. Yeah, we'll get away with that. Just not Deborah. Deborah. Yes. Oh, no. Deborah. Oh, no, no. Mateo, whose name actually isn't even Mateo. Does everyone call you that now? I. <laughs> <laughs> Mateo! <laughs> It's your name's Matthew, isn't it? But it's the Italian Matthew. And I think a little bit sexier than a Matthew. Matteo. Oh, Matteo. I like, I like um, an Italian name. I, like, I wanted to call Max Massimo. But I decided against it. Now, so this is a hand-carved agate, isn't it? Isn't it beautiful? Hand-carved as well. Now I have trouble carving a meat joint, let alone this. I actually do. I can't carve to save my life. I need an electric carver. Look at this. Isn't it lovely? Now, I'm also going to give to you jump rings. And these are the flat jump rings, do we yeah, call the these? The square wire jump rings. Square wire jump rings, because they're not square in shape. Nope. They are, as you can see, very round. Uh, but the wire is square. This gives a different look. It gives you more of a contemporary look, I'd yes, say. Yes, it does. It does. Now you're getting... How many... Let me have a look. It, it would be good if I read what was in front of me, wouldn't it? Okay, so you have got... In a dimension 5mm outer um, 7.4, you've got 100 of those. Uh, in a 10mm outer 13.2, 100 of those. You've got in a 5mm um, outer 7.4, 100 of those. And then you've got some of my favourite things ever. Little tiny seedy beadies. Oh, you only get 200 jump rings because someone's duplicated. Oh, someone's duplicated everything on my list. 
Don't test me. They did that to me last night. Do you know what they gave me to give to everybody? Now, you know the bell-shaped ends? And you know one's got to be very careful when giving a bell-shaped end. Well, last night they gave me double bell-shaped ends. Oh, right, fine. Yeah. Yeah, it could have been wrong, that. It, it could have been, yeah. yes. And he did it on purpose to catch me out. <laughs> But I won't be caught out. Your games will not work on me. The force is strong with me. Have a look. I'm so excited about the new Star Wars, I could actually wet myself. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Should I not have said that? Oh, lovely. Oh, dear. I'm not glamorous. <laughs> it's lovely to have you back, Jenny. It really <laughs> I is. wish I could pretend to be glamorous. Cause sometimes I think if I shut my mouth, people might think it. Just for a minute. Oh, there's someone who's probably posh. <laughs> <laughs> Claire, I haven't told anyone about that. Why did you have to bring... In my own defence... Oh, yeah, no-one can hear you. <laughs> um, well, in my defence, oh, last time... Poor Lucy was ill yesterday. I didn't know this till... <coughs> well, I knew it. That's why I had to do extra hours yesterday. Well, then she rang and went, I'm so poorly, she's so poorly, she's got migraine, she's so poorly. So I said, don't worry, I'll stay at my mum's tonight, I'll come in, t in the morning. I only have one dress. Now, actually, yesterday I had the, this dress on back to front. <laughs> so it shouldn't have mattered. Well, no, it wasn't on purpose. I put it on back to front, and then I, the effort to get it over my chest again, it wasn't worth it. So I just left it as it was. No one noticed. But, so I got it round the right way, so I thought, fresh? Not really. But I brushed my teeth, and, uh, well, the rest is history. <laughs> so have you been looking like, is there something on her dress? Yes, there is. Yes, I'm sorry. Not perfect. Have a look. I smell good, though. <laughs> <laughs> I always think as long as someone smells good, nothing else really matters. No, not really. Because you can always close your eyes. Now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. If you couldn't hear me or see me, you could just smell me, I'd be really attractive. <laughs> Uh, so I've got more bell-shaped ends, which are grand for your kumahimo, all sorts of things. <laughs> Don't cry, Debbie. I made Debbie cry. I'm sorry. And you get five oh, of them. Uh, no, actually, you get three of them, and then you've got what? And then you've got different ones. I actually thought this was a ring shank, but it's a toggle. toggle oh, it's a toggle glass. These are pairs. Oh, I see. Oh, there. She makes it all clear. How wonderful. Now. You are also getting cord. Look at this. So let's get straight on over and have a look at exactly what Debbie has made. Your should be price is coming up for you now. £39.60. And when we say should be price, we mean the price that this each individual item would cost you if you were putting this in a basket online. £27.95, pence. you've got this new type of cord. Now this was quite new, maybe a week or two ago. So I want to show you what Deb has done with these. She's done absolutely loads of jewellery with the one kit for the price tag. Oh, it's amazing. And I've got loads of that cord left over, actually. So I haven't used all of it, even though I've used it in two or three things you've so, done so much and i love I this i've been looking at this from afar i think it's absolutely beautiful everything you've Thank done is you. stunning this is amazing and something so fresh so new i've never seen before it's just something different it's gorgeous it's very easy for those people who've got the the jump rings at home to do very very easy well that's amazing can i just i'm just gonna let's let me show you this because you need to look look that's amazing Tiny little and beads the, in the middle. Yeah, I love those, do you? Mm. They went on and on and on. They really did. <laughs> Very good value. This is the great thing about them. If you've got the bead loom, they're wonderful. Now, this is a new type of cord. How did you find it? Very What's soft. the difference between this and other cords? Not quite as shiny and silky as others, which I personally like. Because you've I got that sort of matte finish. Yes, it's got more of a matte finish, which I personally love. Um, and I think... It, you can put it with so many different things, with so many different gemstones, and let them shine, really. Um, and I love that. All I've done is just stitch that. Isn't yeah, just stitched it with monofilament on the back, that's all. That's all I've done. It's like a basket lid. I love it. Yeah. 
Uh, Isn't that a fan? But those toggle clasps are fantastic. Aren't they? You can Aren't get they? That's made part of the Really, design. really good. And you can get three strands into there. So that's, that's good. You can get a multi-strand necklace into those. Gorgeous bracelets. Gorgeous. The golds and the blacks together, they work oh, they're so fabulous. well. Uh, you can't go wrong, really, can you? Mm -mm. Gold and black and those beautiful beautiful little mystic beads oh and we haven't Aren't had they? mystic beads Fab. do you remember years ago when yes. we were in the old studio yeah. and we used to give mystic beads they were always 20 pounds a strand yeah look at the price tag now 27.95 for the whole mystic thing coat it's something amazing is extra expense on top of a regular quartz strand so that's right i mean you are we're adding to the expense and it's all done in such a lovely way and coated so it doesn't tarnish wonderful the color of these though are stone like little champagne bubbles they're, <gasps> they're really beautiful and we love a champagne oh, we do. don't we we, do. we love a champagne or two we do. but they are they are really delicate in color they're gorgeous You've done a ladder weave on the next bracelet, yes. which I love. Uh, and it's a great thing to do a ladder weave with those little beads, together with the larger black beads, with all those facets, gorgeous. A real show-off piece without being overstated. But look at this. This is why you need the little beads, because they just make a huge impact. Very Versace. Well, I've made all the other jewellery, and that's all I had left. I thought, what am I going to do? I've got a whole bag of these beads and a couple of the other lovely mystic beads. What can I do? And that's what I made with it. So they go on and on and on. They really do. Fantastic. They're fabulous. They are fantastically mm. beautiful. Have a look at... I love this. What kind of knot? Is it a pretzel knot? Um, no, I, just, I fiddle with the, it myself. I don't know whether it is called something. Somebody might tell me. I'll show you how to do it in a second. It's a Bulford knot. It is a Bulford knot. That's right. That's quite a nice, that's quite a nice <laughs> knot. I am going to nice try the Bulford knot. knot. It sounds better than a granny knot, doesn't it? It does, really. Yes. I like that. I oh, like I that. love that, Deborah. The Bulford knot. I've still got loads of jewelry to show you. Have a look. Gorgeous bracelet. You've seen that wonderful necklace, another pair of earrings, and another, yet another bracelet. So all together, we have made, oh, and some more earrings, which I'm going to pop there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pieces. If you, if, if somebody said to you, I'm going to give you eleven separate items of jewellery, and you're going to pay less than thirty pounds for them, you'd be snapping the hand off of them. Well, of course, it's going to be a great profit maker, isn't it, Debbie? Absolutely, because everything that I'm doing the demo with to show you how the, the knot's made and all the jump rings, that's what I've got left from the kit. So and I've still got left. and I've still got loads of more cords left. So I Ooh. could have made another three or four pieces. So this actually is a good money spinning kit, it really is, because you can make so much beautiful jewellery. And I do think it's it's very much an evening kit, but you can still wear it with your um, nice long maxi dresses. Mm -hmm. The cords always go well with that, don't you think? It looks a bit Absolutely, more yeah. summery. It definitely casual, does. Corn is very summery. You go to France, you go to south of France, you go to Spain, wherever, and um, you see the bracelets on you the do. market stalls and you buy them for your friends, mm, you your do. friendship bracelets. I love them. This, so this when looks we start, almost like leather, actually. I think. It, it's well, really I nice. thought it had a bit of a leathery look to it. Yeah, it's yeah. nice. So it could be masculine as well it as could. feminine. It could. It could, because it hasn't got that sheen to it. Mm -hmm. Right, to do this knot, and I did make it up myself, so um, the Bulford knot. The Bulford knot. So first of all, you just literally cross over into a loop this cord. So that's the first one. Okay. The second one, I decided I wanted another loop, but inside. Okay. Uh -huh, but how do you so make with it this stay? one, I just put one underneath. Mm -hmm. So I put one of the cords. So it's going under and then over the top. Right. All right. And as I did it, I made sure that I caught it with some of the, the jump rings. So I put a jump ring here and a jump <gasps> ring there just oh, yes, to catch have. it. Yes. Right? And then with the last one, it's almost like sewing it together. So that's gone over the top. So I want it to go under, over, and under, over. And then once I've positioned it with my two jump rings here, I just pulled all the cords up to the top trim them to the length that I wanted. That's easy. How simple is that? It was very simple. And put your cord ends on. Now all I did there, if you can see the one that I made, is literally put a jump ring here, yeah. a jump ring there, mm -hmm. and I tied four little beads there and put a little tassel. So you no put glue, nothing? Nothing, Apart no glue, from on the nothing. end when you put them into I the I did end. put some fabric glue on the end of my cords ready to put in my 
my toggle clasp. But besides that, that's all that all there is to it. Love when it. you're doing cords and you're putting your design together, make sure that you're going the opposite way. So the first one you're going under over, the next one over under. So you're almost knitting it together. So when you pull it, it's not going to come apart. Oh, Do you know what I mean? Yes. So, so that's how to do it. And you could even put like a little cabochon hanging there if you wanted to. I love that design. Really simple, really easy. And, and because simple this to almost do. looks like it's plaited or kumahimo beforehand, it's you don't have to do anything to the cord. It's ready to just no. make so it's nice and thick. Yeah. You've got loads of loads of options here. So, so now you're going to quickly show us the other. This is uh, the European 4-in-1. Now, I know that uh, Fleur has done this quite a few times on the show. So this is just literally two, two rings held together with a third ring in the middle. But there are tutorials and what have you out there, so I'm sure that you can pick it up. Um, so to do this, you need to do quite a bar of this design and then take one cord and you push that through the top, one cord and push that through the bottom. And I just used a piece of beading thread to attach with a crimp one side and as I went through each little jump ring that she's in the middle I put mm. a little gold bead and that is it and then once you finish you end up with that that's it and you see that love there. it so it's really simple and easy to do but I know that Fleur has done that quite a few times and I have as well on air so you have you've done lots of chain yeah, mail so as well lots of chain mail, yeah so Fantastic. European four in one if you want to look it up Thank you so much, Debbie. If you've got any okay. questions for Debbie, then get texting us 60777. Don't forget to start your message with the word JM Studio or it will not get to us. We will be reading your text messages uh, very shortly. Right now, it's time for your Spotlight Deal. I've got Mookite for you. It's a gemstone that's only found in one place in the world, Mooka Creek in Australia, mites. It, it sounds like uh, somewhere like right out in the outback, doesn't it? And I'm sure it probably is. Now, this is an outstandingly beautiful gemstone. It, it, it's not a gemstone that you're going to, you're not looking for clarity with this gemstone. You're looking for richness of colour, certainty of colour. I love these, almost sort of nutty woodland colours here. But if you pick out the pinkers, the pinkers and the creamiers and the purplers, you've got some summer colours in there as well. Now that's why I love Mookite because you've got such a broad range of the colour spectrum. Look at the richness, you've got those deep, deep raw siennas, you've got those burgundies, perhaps those masala colours that are going to be red hot this summer look at that mustard i love this you can think sort of jewels bowden cast kids and country colors with a strand like this but you can also think hot beach mediterranean with something like this as well maybe even festival jewelry too i definitely make a stretchy out of this strand i've actually got a mookite stretchy Fabulous, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. Suze has already got two. Anne, Marjorie's got three. Rachel, you've got yours. Rosemary, Andrea, Linda. Anonymous in Surrey. I've got a jewellery maker in Lanarkshire. Julian Cheshire, SIP 081, 350 carats of Mookite plain rounds. These are 12 millimetre rounds. The Goddess bracelet, Shambhala style bracelets, earrings, necklaces. If I'm honest, what I would want to do with these is just strand into a necklace, then get another one and make a stretchy bracelet, then I've got some over. That, I think, is going to be the, best, the best option. You like which earrings, Helena? Just stud earrings, gorgeous stud earrings with these. Or a little drop. I love that. You've definitely got matching colours, but you don't even need to match them up. You do. Claire's saying she wouldn't, she'd just have different colours. I love these. Debbie, are you a fan of Mookite? I absolutely adore it. I really do. And it's, it's just summer on a strand to me. Because it's just sand, isn't it? It's just going on holiday and it's sandy colours and it'll go with all your... I know we say this every year, but it'll go with all the natural linens and all the animal prints that come out every summer. Um, it's just perfect. It's perfect for summer. I and it's unisex, it. I think, as well. Because, you take again, you take one on a, on a nice chocolate leather strand and put a nice mustardy uh, stone on there and it's it's quite unisex you can just make simple stretchy bracelets oh you can't go wrong with those 
I love them. Mm, I've just I bought do. three outside um, and because um, we've got lots of stretchy pearl bracelets outside. So I just bought three of them. Wrote a little note for Wendy that I bought three of them. Uh, and I just, you can't get enough of stretches no. in the summertime. No. I love them. SIP 081, 350 carats of Mookite. The plain rounds are 12 millimeters. Loads of you there. Linda in Gloucestershire, Angela in Lanarkshire, Rachel in Yorkshire, Una in Perth and Kim Ross. Linda, you've got yours. Sarah, you've got yours. Rachel's got two. Una has just bought two as well. All yours for just seven pounds and 95 pence. Super value. When you think about the fact that this has gone and been sourced all the way in the Australian outbook back. Not book, not the outbook. What's the outbook? I don't know. I'll be in the outbook if I'm not careful. 795 SIP081, all the way sourced from Australia. And I know this now for a fact. Australia is a very long way to go. It takes ages. It is 24 hours, more than that if you've got to stop and, and mind you, I stopped in Singapore. I've got your lovely Zena's giving us a little wave there. She's coming up for you at 11 o'clock. Stay there, stay, 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 stay. No, she's going, stay, stay, stay there. She's giving you a kiss now, there she is. She is, and I want, how do I put this? She's as bonkers as me. Do you think she's madder than me? But she's on the wavelength of madness. She's on the road of madness that I'm on. She's like catching me up. She's behind me in a fast car of madness. You, you've got to, I, I, but don't forget, she's just easing herself in here. Give her a year, she'll be, it, oh my gosh, can you imagine if you had a day where it was just me and, and uh, Zena you had to produce? <laughs> They'd all go mad. 795, 350 carats, 12 millimeter reins. Now it's time to see what you cheeky little devs have been up to. It's Waffle Clock. I do say, <laughs> oh, I say, we've been all I say, you know, we stuff. have, we have. Well, we've got some gorgeous pieces. It's lovely to see uh, when you send things in, when you bought gorgeous gemstones or wire anything from us here at Jewelry Maker and you send in uh, your makes. 284 wire wrapping. This is beautiful. It reminds me of vines and uh, the secret garden. Have you ever seen that I film? Have. That's yes, what I know exactly what you mean. And it's in the gorgeous Wendy. And uh, Wendy writes, my first foray into wire work. Not brilliant. It is brilliant, Wendy. How dare you? But think of a reasonable attempt. Hope you like all the products of Je Jewelry Maker, of course. Love to all at Jewelry Maker. And that's with love from Wendy. 284 Wendy. Good luck in the draw. By the way, if you send in your entries, you could win £50 as a runner-up or £100 credited to your account. Wendy, this is you! Come on, come on. Did you know this was coming up today? Oh, no, I didn't. Come in, <laughs> Wendy. Come in either. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're literally forcing I am. Wendy. I am. I'm Poor really people. <laughs> Poor bloody I mean, day. I, I saw. I <laughs> 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 pushing you in. There's me <laughs> saying I'm going to hide behind the tallest person. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, we're the same height. I'll just let my shoe down. Oh, no, I am. I'm taller than someone. This I is know, brilliant. You are taller than somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for a leapfrog. I've never found someone to play a good game of leapfrog with. <laughs> a long time but I'll you can get down there I'll leap over I can find someone I can play with I'll be <laughs> I love this it's beautiful uh, it's gorgeous Aww. so have you just got into wire work well that's my very first attempt at well it's a brilliant that, how long have you been jewellery making for when since February oh you're a new jewellery maker oh, oh my goodness you with jewellery making then I won a pendant from Laura yeah Oh, so you started watching, did you? Yeah. Well, I was off sick and I was, I was channel hopping, mm. as you do. Yeah, and you'd had enough uh, of that Kyle bloke. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> tell you what. Ever, ever. <laughs> and um, I was off sick and I was bored. I was, couldn't really get up and do much. The phone was there and, oh, quite fancy this. 
So you I give it a go. It. Yeah. And you love it? And the rest is history. I love <laughs> that. Isn't it a brilliant hobby? Oh, God, yeah. Love it. Love it to bits. Now, we're going to be catching up with Wendy a little bit more a little bit later. Thank you so much for coming in. You can go back to cake and tea yes. now. Go on. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> stand. You will go on. <laughs> I love that. Hannah, it's so lovely Emma to our viewers, aren't we? Yeah. We just lasso them. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> you are coming on the TV. We're not cool to everybody. No, only just a few. Just now. Yeah. Only the chosen few. Uh, this is number 285, and this is from uh, Jonathan. It says, hi, I've made oh, a simple hi, pair Jonathan. of earrings made with round cultured pearls and morganite beads. Um, Put together with gold plated 925 sterling silver findings, I feel very inspired by what is shown by everyone on JM. All materials are from JM. Thanks from Jonathan Wilde. They are beautiful. That's a great name, Johnny Wilde. Yes, isn't lovely. it? I like that. That yeah. is a good name, Stage Jonathan. name. That is, yeah. That is lovely. They are beautiful. Really are beautiful. Love those. I've got two eight six. Look at this. I wear that every day of the week. I would as well. Uh, it's from our JM junkie, Kathy in Leeds, who says, Good morning, jewellery maker. I hope you're enjoying the day. I want to say thank you for the size 5 ring with a mount for a 7mm round stone. Just what I needed. I can no longer wear my wedding band and engagement ring on my ring finger due to weight loss after 13 years. Having rings on that finger, I felt quite naked. They now reside on my right hand, and this new ring is on my ring finger. Big, happy, smart. That's a diamond. Crikey. Wow. Don't he love you, Kathy in Leeds? Whoa. Would love to see it on the wall of fame. Good luck, everyone. Wowzers. Very lucky lady. My That's a goodness. Big old stone, man. Like that, <gasps> wouldn't you? Fabulous. Lucky girl. Fabulous. Well done. This is number 287, and this is from Jane. It's a simple pair of earrings, amethyst squares, dangled on silver plated chain, all from Jewelry Maker. That's lovely. Simple things you see sometimes just look stunning, don't they? Is this a full Persian? What's this? Um, it's a great weave, isn't it? Not sure, actually. Oh, lovely. It's they, they, they encase some stones in there. They put little gemstones in there. Should we read and see what it says? Let's read. It's from Donna Turner from Stafford. And Donna writes, Hi, all at Jewelry Maker. This is my entry this week's Wall of Fame. A sweet pea weave. I've never heard oh, of it. right. Yes, yes, yes. <gasps> okay. I love it. Using handmade jump rings with one millimetre gauge antique gold copper wire. Found the weave a little bit of a fiddle at first, but I finally cracked it. And hey presto, here is the end result. Thank you so much for a fab time on the show a couple of weeks ago when myself and my mum, Rainy, came on the Sunday experience. Oh, Rainy. Aww. I hope you had a lovely day, Donna. Uh, and this is amazing. I've never even heard mm. of the sweet pea weave. You're number 288. Well done. After the break, we have got some gorgeous emerald coming up for you. Brand new, Zambian, natural. Get the credit cards out, ladies. Go and make that fella of yours a cup of tea. Distract him while you pick up the phone and order this little beauty. We'll be back after this. The fastest way to shop with Jewelry Maker is by going to our website. Just click on the sign up button. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the Watch Live button on the front page. You can also use our Refine tool and narrow down your search. Once you've found an item that you like, just simply click on the Buy Now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day and still only pay one p and Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. We all know that you need the right tools for the job. So here at Jewelry Maker, we have developed our very own tool set just for you. In this larger set, we have provided more tools to help you develop your jewelry making skills even further. The kit includes wire cutters, a bead reamer with replacement tips, an awl, tweezers with a scoop, a sliding gauge, a snip, and all the essential pliers you will need. All of this is yours for just $15.95, neatly presented in a carrying case with an embossed Jewelry Maker logo. Stay tuned for more advice, tutorials and demonstrations of jewellery making. We provide the tools, you provide the skill. Get involved with Jewellery Maker by sending the studio a message during our live hours. 
you can send a text to 60777 and start your message with JM Studio or alternatively go to our website and click on watch the live show simply type your message into the box and press send make sure you stay tuned in case your message is read out get interactive with Jewelry Maker We have less than 30 opportunities. Is this a brand new strand? Coming up for you right now. Less than 30 opportunities. Now, let me tell you something. Zambian Emerald, that is untreated, can be uber, uber expensive. Now, argument, arguments within the gemstone industry rise over which is the best emerald in the world. There are two choices, Colombian or Zambian. There is a difference. Colombian emerald is a different color. It's, it's richer. So you could argue that they're both they're different. You know, For me, Zambian emerald every time. The reason for this is because I like the vibrance of a Zambian emerald. I like the clarity of a Zambian emerald. Zambian emeralds can fetch millions, and I mean millions. Our very own Carol from Jewelry Maker wears a Zambian emerald on her engagement finger. It's her favorite. I love it too. Look at this green, the Emerald City green. It's absolutely beautiful. These are graduated three by one to five by three on an 18 centimeter strand. <coughs> I want you to note the clarity in this strand. And I want you to know that by placing just one of these, just one in the center of a pearl bracelet, just one, can up its value by hundreds, depending of course on where you're selling it. So, if you are putting together exquisite collections, then you need this. If you want to create something so super high end, something worth getting valued, if you want to create an heirloom, maybe for you and your daughters, maybe it's for the bride on the wedding day, maybe it's for your mum on a special occasion, maybe it's for your very best friend and you would like to give her something extra special for your sister perhaps, then this is the strand. Now if you're thinking about investing in the black diamonds today, and they're coming up real soon, then this is the strand that you want to couple it with. It's absolutely decadent. Now this isn't going to be a snippet of a price tag. I'm not gonna make any bones about it. This is for you if you're a collector of very fine gemstones, if you're serious about your very fine gemstones. This is for you if you want to create something very special. Perhaps you're a jeweler. This is for you if you would like to buy yourself a very special gift. If today you're high-end shopping, perhaps you're going to push yourself further as a jewelry maker into the, more, in, in, into the quarters of being a jeweler. If you want to create utter luxury, then this is your strand. Going remarkably under 100 pounds, and have a look at the carrot weight. Now, if you had a carrot in a ring of a Zambian emerald, it could cost you thousands, and I mean high thousands. It's what Carol wears, our Carol, as her engagement ring. It's definitely one of my favorites, the birth gemstone of May. A gemstone that was the favorite of Cleopatra. And remember that no two emerald mines in the world give us the exact same shade of green. These 
aren't just any emeralds. These are Zambian emeralds. And 94 pounds and 95 pence. I appreciate that they're not in everybody's budget, but they are for you if you are shopping high-end today. Don't forget, we do take credit cards. You can shop online. You can shop on the phone lines. You can shop with PayPal on our app for 94.95. Deb, would this be a, a gemstone strand that you could see yourself making a good profit with? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You have to pick and choose where you sell them. Mm -hmm. I think you have to make sure that they are sold um, by people who appreciate the quality. By that is, I wouldn't, uh, that sounds awful, but I wouldn't take it to a school fate. Do you know what I mean? It, you yes, have to I pick do. and choose where you sell them. Um, but I think the colour, I prefer the paler green this to, to the more I intense yeah. colour. Mm -hmm. I mean, that to me is more delicate, it will go with more skin tones. Um, and it looks almost vintage, the colour. Very put it 1920s. With, exactly. You could put that with sort of a, a very pale peach or a pale pink with a rose gold, and it would look very, very vintage. I, I just love the sparkle as well. From over here, the sparkle is incredible. It's been faceted really well. Oh, it's beautiful. And you can see that hand-picked, mm. the Lapidus has selected the finest Zambian emerald available, and you can see that here. There are lots of you, <coughs> lots of you confirming your orders for this. Suze, Claire, jewelry maker in London, jewelry maker in Nottinghamshire, Margaret in Merseyside. We do have a jeweller on the lines as well, I do believe. £94.95. and pence. By using just one or two of these, popping it in together with some big fat white pearls, you could add hundreds onto the value of that piece. We have heard jewelry makers, designers here sell a pearl bracelet for £200 through a jeweler by adding a, a, a Zambian emerald I think you're adding a lot more value even if it's just one emerald lots of you in for this one there is a queue on the phone lines please don't worry though because it is a free phone number if you are dialing from a UK landline please do check out baskets if you're shopping online if you would like to know how it's all the w's.jurymaker.com quickly log in and check out your basket you can download our app as well and do it that way remember we do take credit cards Trace has joined us for this as has Tina uh, you do need to make sure you are confirmed confirming your order ZQG Z14. Now there are still a few of these available. We're going to hold this price for you for just an hour. Stay where you are. Now it's time for your next spotlight deal. <laughs> I'm delighted to bring you one of my favourite, favourite findings. Have you ever seen a pearl necklace where the pearls are in rows? Very Audrey Hepburn. Uh, they're in rows and they come down like that. Well, it's really difficult to keep them in those rows without twisting or turning. If you just put them on one certain finding, they all bunch together. When you want to create that uniform, whether it's for a bracelet or whether it's for a necklace, you'll need a finding like this. And to have it in sterling silver is perfect for me because I would put this with pearls. This would be good as well if you're going to do the same sort of design and incorporate maybe one of those Zambian emeralds in there. Still some available of those if you want them. Have a look at what I've got for you. So. Here you have the extender chain and you've got the lobster claw clasp. You can see the mark of 925 silver on there as well. I'm just going to turn this around. Now have a look. You've got one, two, three, four, five loops, meaning that you can create a five line necklace or row, not line, or a bracelet. These are wonderful, wonderful findings. Now there's a lot of chunky solid sterling silver in here. I love that because it means that whatever you're creating is just going to look so quality. Deb, have you ever used these findings? <clears throat> yes and no. I've used them but not from Jewelry Maker because every time they come in they sell out. Do you know what? It's very rare that we get these it in It is Sterling. very, very mm -hmm. rare. And I, I look for them all over the place because I just think they are stunning. Absolutely stunning. I've seen people put four strands. And if you can imagine the first and third strand go one way, then the second and fourth go the other way. Yeah. So they have it hanging and then 
use that loop as, for a pendant. So you have the two strands oh. going across. So you yes. have the bar at the front. They look very much like a metal um, oh, fixing. Yes, yes. So they, that's very, very in as well. Used to yeah, put the like military. A, the military look on, on your lapel. So it can be used for lots of different things, which, is, which I like. Uh, but the amount of silver in there is incredible. I think these are the chunkiest silver ones that we've had. They're yeah, very substantial. Beautiful. They feel quality. And that mm. makes a difference. You don't want something flimsy if you're going to be using high-end gemstones, if you're going to be using things like sapphires and emeralds mm. or anything like this. There are so many of you on the yeah. phones for this, including our very own Alison Tarry, who's just bought two, and our very own Fleur, who's just bought three. Morning, girls. Is that Fiona Potter as well? Potter. Well, doesn't that show that people go for findings? You can have some inexpensive gemstones put stunning findings on on that piece of jewelry and it can look a million dollars and piece. then you can have fabulous gemstones rubbish findings and it will hit the price it, it will ruin the design it will yeah. findings make a real difference if so many of our actual guest designers are buying this i'm thinking just go for it because you know they're going to be po posting stuff on facebook um, i think the price is about to be a little bit 7.95 when did you put that in for sterling silver, no, no wonder you were multi-buying this one. What a great price tag. Linda's got three, Patricia's got two, Christine's got two, Carol's got three, Karen's got two, Susan's got two, uh, another Susan in Hampshire this time has got two, Christine in Yorkshire's got two, Pat in Essex has got two. Oh my goodness, there are so many of you on the phone lines. It's lovely to see all your names popping up. It looks like that one is a sellout and gone. Let's do the diamonds, because I haven't got long before I'm going. I haven't got long. I ain't on my way out yet. Well, I might be. Now, one can never tell. It's time to give you this month's birth gemstone. Hang on a minute. You know, you know a diamond ring, girls, if someone says, like a full carrot oh my gosh a diamond in a full carrot in a ring is big news isn't it it's a big thing do you know the national average of an engagement ring in this country is quarter of a carrot it's quarter of a carrot because diamonds are expensive I'm giving you three carrots of diamonds to create whatever you want Black diamonds, I've got two black diamond rings, they're my favourite, I love them. They're so lustrous, they're incredibly contemporary but also so very classic at the same time. Look at that sparkle, nothing in the world is going to give you a sparkle like a diamond unless of course you have a diamond. Three carats of black diamonds. April's birth gemstone, my birth gemstone. I bloom in love it. Look at this sparkle. Imagine this in those earrings you're going to create. Imagine this in the bracelet. Little section of black diamonds. You don't have to use them all up. What about making a black diamond ring and just using maybe five? We'll take five from across there. And then using some sterling silver wire. Isn't it beautiful? Look how spa nothing will sparkle quite like this. Making a tennis bracelet. Good idea, Helena. Look at that sparkle. It's divine, isn't it? A bracelet. But what about how Alison Terry, I always have loved the way she does the two bars in the half round wire, and if you can get it sterling silver, all the better for it. And then exposing the gemstones in the middle. And she does almost like a christening bracelet style. It's absolutely gorgeous. MYOD37 is your item code. So many of you have got this already. How many do we have, Helena? We started with 32. But I can already tell you that Jill has hers. A jewelry maker in Aberdeenshire has two. Angela has hers, Kathy has hers, a jewelry maker in Greater Manchester has theirs. Claire, you've got yours, Joe, you've got yours, Hilma, Blanca, Sean, Ulu, Karen, Vivian, jewelry maker in Lanarkshire. You can see these are going out of the door very, very fast. If you've always dreamt of owning, of creating 
with real diamonds first hand you haven't had to wait for some of your jewelry to break to create with those diamonds you're using these first hand fresh ideas fresh designs big profits perhaps for you if you're a jewelry maker that sells their jewelry on M Y O D 37 two by one on a six centimeter strand all yours three carats of diamonds for less than a thousand pounds is incredible i'm giving you three carats of diamonds for just 160 pounds and 95 pence please remember we do take credit cards please remember we do give you a 30-day money back guarantee on absolutely everything that you buy from us here at jewelry maker everything we give you comes with that 30 day money back guarantee. If you do not love these, you simply send them back for a full refund. Pauline, you've got yours. Tina from Bedfordshire, you've got yours. Jewelry maker in Lanarkshire, you need to check out your baskets. These are absolutely flying out the door. MYO D37, remember, debit cards and credit cards are accepted. Remember you have 30 days to ponder this. Once they're gone, they're gone. It is a very unlikely that we'll get this strand back again. You know as I do, when we get diamonds, they sell out and they're gone. Jacqueline's got hers. Julie's got hers. For £160.95, it does look like we're close to a sellout on these. You are going to have to make sure you confirm your order. If you don't check out your baskets, there's a large risk that you will not get these. Somebody else could get them. Wow. Look at those, Debbie. Isn't it a dream come true? They're beautiful. And I think sometimes we forget that, I know we like, ladies like a bit of sparkle, but so do gentlemen. And I could see that being used, um, if you had a tie pin, and just have a stripe of the black diamonds across the tie pin for a wedding. Oh, how lovely. And then the, the ushers could have cufflinks just with a stud of a couple of black diamonds. I mean, m men like to have a little bit of bling as well, especially for a special occasion. Or if you're going to a dinner, Imagine having a stud on a, on a cravat for a dinner and having oh, black diamonds on it, do you know? Yes. Why not? Why not? Men can, can sparkle as much as women. Oh, there are so <laughs> many sparkly cufflinks. Yeah. For special occasions, why not? Just do it. My old other half used to have loads of sparkly cufflinks. You know, mm. it's done now, isn't it? Yeah, of it? course it is, yeah. Look at that. £160.95, loads of you there. Janet, you need to check out Jury Maker in Lanarkshire. You need to check out Carol in Greater Manchester says, it's my birthstone of this month. Uh, well, hubby did ask what I wanted. Just got to break the news now. Whoops, <laughs> oh, Carol. <laughs> When's your birthday? When's your, it's my birthday in a couple of weeks. Oh, it means I'm getting older. Mateo's birthday next week. I'm going to be 35. I'm a little bit like, I'm always as old as the year is. Like, it's five, 2015, isn't it? So it's like me. Uh, Mateo, how old are you going to be then? 24. 24. Oh gosh, I'm exactly 11 years older than you. How depressing. How completely depressing. I've got the same birthday as Rachel Norris, who works here. We're birthday twins. I've got quite a few birthday twins, actually. But yeah, April is the month, isn't it, Carol? Yes, it is. You've got to watch those Aries and Taurus born people. You're an Aries, Mateo, so you're a lot calmer than me. You little ram. You want you want me to count them? Okay, this is gonna take a while, I'm gonna do it. And then yeah, okay, I don't mind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. Forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five. Forty-five diamonds. And they're not tiny. I mean, I was able to count them. They're not tiny, tiny. Joe, you've got yours, Val, you've got yours, Janet's checked out, so is Julie. Sue, you've got to check out Jury Maker in Lanarkshire and Merseyside, Sean in Denbighshire, uh, Jury Maker in London, you've got to check out your basket or you are about to miss out on this strand. MYO D37 is your item code. These are now red limited. Make sure you've got yours. Now, we are going to give you the next kit of the day. I have another little last peep of these. And don't forget, they will come in a lovely box. I do love a nice box. 
Do you know, we don't buy ourselves enough gifts, perhaps. Do you ever buy yourself a gift, Debbie? No, not really. I think we should treat ourselves more often, shouldn't we? Well, you only live once, don't you? Yeah, quite right. I never really buy myself much. Like, I wouldn't buy myself a piece of really expensive jewellery. I feel no. too guilty. No, I know what you mean. But that, you can sort of excuse because you think, well, it's all right because I'll make something for somebody else. I'll, I'll make something and sell it on, you know? Make something for myself as well. So you can, yeah, you, you can, can sort of, absolutely. You do feel guilty when you spend money on yourself when you're you a do. parent, don't you? You do. Oh yes, you do. And when you share bills with somebody else because you think, oh, I don't want them to think I'm being a bit frivolous. <laughs> no. Uh, no, mind you, anyone who's lived with me would have to be a bit frivolous anyway, wouldn't they? Now look at this next kit. I love the fact you've got all these different colours in your beading wire. I haven't seen coloured beading wire in ages. This curls up beautiful. It does. So you've got these lovely blue shades. R. Dion would love these, wouldn't she? Now, I want to draw your attention to the fact that this is absolutely laden with findings. Look at all those findings. Loads of them. And you've got bicones. Silver bicones. We haven't had them for ages. I do love a bicone. Let me show you. Just going to raise them with my scooper. Silver bicones, silver on copper, real silver plated over copper that is e coated. I love those. Now let's have a look because you've also got toggle class. You've got 115 findings, loads of different findings. Here they all are individually. Now you've also got satin cord in white and aqua. I'm really into cord at the moment. I never used to be. I'll, I'll admit to you, I used to be like, cord? I love Kumahimo. I love doing macrame now. I love it. It's so easy. And it's quite therapeutic. It's brilliant. You've got to do it. Now, I'm going to give to you three gemstones and you are going to get abalone pow shell in one. Now, abalone pow shell, you have to free dive for and you have to free dive for this in New Zealand. You can't find it anywhere else, it's just the way it goes. I once was told that it was only um, it was only women in bikinis that had to free dive for this, but then I realised it was one of my old producers just having his own little fantasy there. It, I, I believe it's uh, it's men in loincloths, of course. Uh, look, at, you couldn't do much free diving in a loincloth, would you, though? Not no, really. it wouldn't really look no. good. <laughs> Ditch the loincloth, love. Just go diving, freestyle. Now you've got lovely drops. These are going to be lovely in rings, aren't they? You could do a little prong set ring gorgeous earrings, you can make flowers out of these because they're the right shape for the petal. Do it the traditional way which is actually on your DVD that you get uh, when you first purchase with us. Then you've got two bright and very sassy strands. Now this one actually could be mistaken for a bit of neon blue appetite, couldn't it? Look at that colour. That's very seaside -eal. That's a new word I've just made up. Isn't it? seaside -eal. Uh Oh yeah, it does sound a bit like suicidal. Don't, um, yeah, don't do that. Don't get it mixed up. Um, no, this is very oceanic. That's what they say, isn't it? But I think that's more about the big wide ocean. This is kind of seasidey. Then you've got a party pink strand. It is party pink, isn't it? You've got lovely hot pink shell. So it's dyed hot pink like that. Cause I've never seen a real shell on the. Well, it is real shell, but like natural that colour of you. Now, so you've got the gemstones. You've got the cord. You've got the thread, you've got the bicones. How many bicones do I get, Helen, my, my darling? A lot, by the looks. Let's have a little look. We'll see who gets there first. 100 silver bicones. I'm loving those. But I love the colours of this beading thread. I'd plait it, I'd kumahimo it. You can make it curl by doing that sort of parcel majiggery with it. Now, let's give you a price tag because I want to trot on over to Lady Deborah, no Deb, you should be paying, and by should be paying, that's our price tag, £38.60, uh, that's our price tag if you were shopping online for this, 
We're going to take it down to a live show price. Like loads of you in for this already. You're Sandra, Christine, Joy Maker in West Midland, Noala, Debbie, you've got yours, Jane, Marilyn. Uh, there's loads of you loving this. And you didn't even know the uh, price drop price tag is coming. £22.95. Brilliant value for you. You get absolutely stacks for your money. Loads for your money. This is a, a wonderful deal. An abalone power shower. Now, you know as I do, when it's summer, this is a gemstone that sells out left, right and centre. It's definitely the holiday gemstone, isn't it? It's definitely the gemstone that we want to be wearing on the beach. It's got so many wonderful colours. You can wear it with your bikinis and your sarongs if you're going to be covering up with a sarong. I love a sarong. I do. Should we do a live cup of tea walk? See how see, this could go horribly wrong, couldn't it? Uh, so we're going to go and check out. Oh, oh, oh no, don't pour it on, Debbie. I'm so clumsy, but I so want this Earl Grey. I didn't spill it. Isn't it a miracle? Very good. So many different genres, actually, of jewellery that you've... I love this. What is that? I'll show you in a minute. Thank you. Now, look. <laughs> look at all of it. It's bright. It's sassy. It's fun. Definitely holiday jewellery. Absolutely, very much so. Very much holiday jewellery, and um, I really enjoy doing lots and lots of different genres here. Wanted I love to do this. Oh, I should show you how to do that in a second. You have done lots of genres, and the thing is, this could be um, feminine or masculine. If you didn't have the toggle on it, you could make that into yeah, a bit more of a absolutely. masculine piece. And then look at that lovely sort of baby blue. I thought it was more of an aqua. Then when you put it with that. That's lovely and that's cool. I love though. those two colours together actually. Mm. When I did the Kuma here, I thought it's really pretty. I love it. Very that. fresh, isn't mm, it? Really nice. Makes you want to dive into a swimming pool. Oh, yes, please. Look at this. Oh, I do love a good old dive into a swimming pool, mate. It's just nice to get some nice sunshine and. It's nice it's enough to be nice. hot enough mm. to think, oh, I'll just oh, dive yes. instead of, I don't want to get in that freezing water. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it would be nice to think, I'm so hot, I've got to. Yes. I was having this exact conversation with my mum when I was arguing with her over I wanted to be on number three on the electric blanket last night. And I said, I've never been hot in my life. Turn it up. I'm always <laughs> freezing. Have you feel me? Oh, you are, aren't I'm you? Always I'm always freezing. I think warm. I've got no blood. I think that's what it is. I don't think I've got any. Lovely beady bead. And you've put some quint beads in the centre of the beady I have, bead. Just to make it really pretty, really feminine. I love that. I love beady beads done with those colours. That's really That pretty. is cool. It's like a blackberry. It is. But not because it's not the colour. And then you've got some fun earrings. Absolutely love the bicone bracelets. Beautiful. And then it wouldn't be Debbie Bolford if she didn't get her tassels out. <laughs> and she has. Hmm. Let's have a little look at that. I love the tassel. Well, yeah. I like the way you've stacked that as well. It's quite neat and tidy, but also quite random because it's yeah. tassel -y. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? It's got a split personality now. It, it has like indeed. It. It has and then beady bead earrings. Love. We love a beady bead. Oh, look how many of you are on the phone lines. You're loving this kit. So, Debbie, what is this? Okay, How well, do you do I it? I should have stretched it, everything. actually, because it, it's, gone, it's gone a wiggly, wiggly. I should have stretched it. But this, I thought, well, I've got so many colours of this beading thread. What on oh, earth wonderful. can I do? Oh, I love them. What on earth can I do to use them all together? So I have a look around in my stash at home. And ages and ages and ages ago on the channel, we had oh. one of these. Yes, it's a French knitting bobbin, isn't yeah, it? it is. I love those. So I thought, I wonder if I could do a French knitting bobbin but with beading thread and that's what it came out like. I can't remember how to French knit. Can't you, Can you remind you? me? Yeah, I can't remember. Okay. We haven't done that in years. No, I know. Is um, it a bit like crochet or not? It's a little bit, yes. I can't crochet. Because of the so this, yeah. So this actually is it's really, really easy. Now I'm you can make one of these out of a cotton reel. You can. Three, what do people put in the end of them? Um, just some little um, cup hooks if you want to or little little nails with just you know, the, right, the yeah. pins that you put into Cork picture Cork hooks pins. that yeah, haven't got it. haven't mm. got the, the thing on the end nice yeah. and smooth so all I've done is is knitted, uh, knitted knotted four of the strands of beading thread all the different blues together and I've put a piece of cord on the end just so I can pull it because that will disappear up inside otherwise and all you do is you go around mm -hmm. your pins. So I go around and around. Oh, fully all the way and around. And around, okay. And then when you start coming back to this to start, 
go round your pins and then I'll put my glasses on excuse me grab oh. my glasses yeah you can either use um, a pin or with this I haven't got this one with me actually because it was a one that was open in the drawer you do get this like little um, pin that, that yeah it's a long push. hooky thing yes I've got this but somebody's bent the end of that but never mind but that would work or just tweezers and you lift the thread that's underneath basically let me just pull that tight you lift the thread that's underneath over the top and I bet you the whole lot's going to come apart when I do this. Once you've let, let it go a little bit, let me just do it not so tight, once you've got the first row off, it slackens a little bit Yeah. and it becomes a lot easier. So you take the bottom strand, I should have done two or three of these before, shouldn't I, before we came to demo them, and you lift it over the top, pull, that's it. The first strand is really, really taut. So you go one over the top and then I go round again and you lift the one from underneath and you go over, over. the top. Oh, See, once yes. you've gone round once, and it, starts it, goes, to slacken, starts to go into the and it starts to go into the centre and you literally lift, go round and you lift the one that's underneath. You See, once you've got the first row going, it's really easy and as You're you do it, as you do it, you pull from the bottom and you just go round and round and round and round and round. I mean, kids do this at school, Absolutely. Don't I had one that was like a soldier or, you know, okay. Give it a couple more. We okay. need to I need to really know. All Get right, into so the groove. go round, and as you go round, it does get. Once you say, once you get that first row out of the way, and just pull it. Hold that other ones with your fingers. Um, Do I have to go the same? The I have to go clockwise the whole time, right? If I'm starting clockwise, exactly. otherwise the other and the you other wrap it. clockwise stick with what exactly, you know. and you pull it as you go to make sure you haven't got any loops at the top. Go round again, and the one underneath. As you start, as it starts to come out the bottom it's actually easier because you can get hold of it and give it a really good pull okay mm -hmm. pull it there it is it's starting to come through so now. it's all about keeping that tension at the bottom yeah and you just keep keeping it slack at the top enough to go over that's right I so think. you just go round and round and round and round and round and it wonderful it, well kids would love doing this i mean this is quite difficult to do it with the threads because there's no give but if you did it with um satin cords oh yeah it's got much more give to it hasn't yeah. it yeah and as you do it again so practice, you practice. pull yeah mm. but you can see that the triangular shape is starting on the top and it just goes down inside and then comes out the other end but yes kids can do this with your um satin threads with your um hemp cords you can do it with wire and you can also as you're going down you can put a little bead in the middle Oh, you could add a bead, couldn't yeah, you? you? Could put a little bead inside. But, I um, love it. Really simple and I've easy to years. do. It. I haven't, you know, and, and I looked in the shops, and they do sell similar ones for kids in the shops. Yeah. Which have got either four or five I'm pins. Sure you so you can, can do lots of different ones. shapes. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of different shapes. But it's just simple and easy to do, and a good way of using up your cords as well. Isn't it fab? Thank you so much, Debbie. That's if you right. have the kit, please make sure you are checking out baskets because we look like we're about to go um, limited on this one so please be quick jzg c38 ocean reef is uh, what this kit is called now thanks so much to debbie uh it does look like this is going to go limited we're going to go over and see what it's all about <laughs> very clever <laughs> <laughs> right then, uh, this is number 279 and this is from Pauline. It says, hi all, created this set using pearls, quartzite flowers with blue wire, all items from Jewelry Maker. Thank you for the constant inspirations, love and light from Pauline. Oh, that is beautiful. Light. Isn't that lovely? It's like mm. blossom. Beautiful. Oh, I really love pretty. a bit of blossom me. Oh yes. Oh, I love it. It's lovely. Well, we've got some green and some pearls, so I'm definitely a happy girl Love with that. this one. 281, gorgeous. This is from Kirsty O'Shea from Walsall. And Kirsty writes, here is a tiara and necklace I made using the chartreuse 0.6mm wire and 12mm peach shell pearls from Jewelry Maker. Smiley face. I also added some green shell pieces to make a spring nature-like piece between each pearl. Is a sprig to look like vines. I hope you like. Love love this thank you so much Kirsty. it's wonderful 281 love the colors of that love pearls think it's fab right this is number 280 from june in dorset 
Uh, it says, I was glued to Dura making most of the Easter weekend and watched your fabulous design of freehand wire to make a pendant. The image is attached on my first stab at copying what I watched. I really, really hope you can feature my images. I used all JM threads, wire and findings and used sparkle beads from my stash. I couldn't master the bale, so winged it by weaving threads through the twisted wire wrap around to hold the necklace strands in place. Um, it also, you also mention here to clarify what happens to the images. Well, we don't email people when their picture is going to be on the Wall of Fame because we don't know exactly which picture is going to be on the Wall of Fame. Yeah. Um, and we get so many. We get so many. So it tends we to be the first that come off. We do repeat it on YouTube, the, though. Yeah. Just, just so it happens, whatever is coming off the computer, the first lot that come off, which is the fairest way of doing it, so we don't pick and choose that's a nice design, we'll have that. It's the first lot that come off the computer in yeah, the so morning. Everybody so gets everybody a gets a chance of going but on. Everybody gets entered into the draw. Everybody who sends in does get entered yeah. into the draw. Um, this is keep on with the fantastic demos and wonderful products from June in Dorset. I hope that helps, June. That's Thank lovely. you, Junie. Okay. I've got the it's displayed on what looks like a lovely vase or a bracelet or something. Oh, gorgeous. I love the way people display things. It makes a difference. It's lovely. And the colours, it really mm. matches. 283 is from Ali. And Ali writes, uh, short but sweet, a simple dainty bracelet made with gold-plated sterling silver chain and Ethiopian opals to sparkle in the sunlight. All from jewellery makers. Fingers crossed for a win. Enjoying the show as always from Ali. Ali, gorgeous. Thank you so much. You're number 283. This is number 282. This is lovely. Oh, love that. From Colette. You would like oh, the Labrador head earlier. Cork, where the clearies are from. <laughs> that is it. Mm -hmm. this is, Good morning, everyone. This is a necklace made from Labradorite nuggets from JM with tiny Labradorite chips and findings from my stash. Best luck to all on the Wall of Fame this week. Many thanks to JM for all the great products and inspiration. Regards, Colette. Colette, that's gorgeous. Oh, I bet Cork's looking oh, beautiful today. Beautiful. Going by the harbour. Lush. Mm. Uh, now, we have got, we're going to do a, a little what, live trot. Oh, are we? About turn. Okay, then. Uh, we are going to show you some green amethyst that's coming up whilst uh, Deb and I take our places. Look at this. Oh, la, la. We have got the gorgeous Zena coming up for you in about 20 minutes' time. She's going to be taking over from me just to add a fresh dollop of madness to the cake mixture that is jewellery maker. Look at these. They're coming up for you. What time are those coming up, Helen and my dear? In about an hour. In about an hour. Now... I'm going to go. <laughs> I have to wait for direction, you see. So I'm just like, are these scissors coming with or not? Not the snippers. No, I don't know why they're there. We don't give you many glue deals, but I'm going to give you one now. Now, usually when I say, oh, we've got glue and we've got the hypo cement, they, they sell out within a minute. So I just want you to know that we're going to give you a great deal. So let me talk to you about what I've got. First of all, these are three different types of bonding uh, mediums for three different types of jewellery making and other such crafts. So you've got industrial uh, strength, E6000, medium viscosity. This is a very popular glue. Um, now, Debbie, could you explain to me... Sorry, no, so just on her trot then. <laughs> uh, can you explain to me where you would choose E6000. Okay, E6000 you can use on almost anything really. It works okay with um, polymer clay, I found it doesn't eat into it, it's perfectly all right. It's a nice gel glue, so if you have something to put into, say, a, a bezel, but it doesn't quite fit right, it's not like the super glue that once you put it in you think, oh, it's, it's adhered and that's it. You've got, so you've got time, time to move things around. It can work with the leather. You oh. can use it with the perspex because it dries completely clear. Um, and I haven't used it with the copper or aluminium. Some people out there might be able to tell me whether you can use it or not. Um, but I would think you could. Um, fabrics, I prefer not to, but I think they do their own fabric version. Well, we've got other, some, um, other types of cement. Yeah, I think one for is for fabric and one is for other mediums, harder mediums. It's okay for glass as well. Just so glass this is good work. for glass. Now, how long does this take to dry? So it's a, a great one if you're working and you, and you want to continue to place things and that you're mm. not putting it and that's it yeah we don't think you're going to be able to do this and then wear something you're going to leave it for at least I've, I've found personally depending how much you put on because sometimes you need quite a blob of glue mm -hmm. I would leave it either overnight sort of okay. four or five hours at least okay. if not longer 
because some dry instantaneously, don't they? Mm. Is this a glue that will keep its flexibility, yes. or is it so? Yes, this is a glue. Flexible. If I was using it's it on a gel. rubber, it's, it's a, a gel. gel. Yeah. Does this makes a difference? Because mm. I've used a glue on something that wasn't for rubber, and it then just cracked mm. off. Um, so that's actually quite um, quite important. Now I'm going to give you um, fabric cement. GS Hypo Cement and the regular GS Hypo Cement. Now, the um, fabric cement, this has a fine nib precision tip. So, if you want to get right in there, maybe put a tiny, tiny sequin on some fabric or, or whatever. Uh, this is for fabric and textiles, beading, bridal and floral. So, if you've got the, the flowers, the um, silk flowers, silk that sort and of flowers, thing, yes. this is good for that. Arts and crafts, custom applications, home decor. So, if you are um, thinking about cushions, maybe applying um, some, something to a cushion. You could do, it depends like whether that. it's washable or not, but you could use um, that for putting lace if you're doing scrapbooking and you want to put oh, lace yes, or something lovely. like that on. It's perfect. It's, say, yeah, it's saying on here it can be used um, for home decor. And right. uh, wood, paper, photographs. This is acid free and. So it won't yellow. So, oh, right, is that yeah. what makes it yellow? Then I've got the GS Hypo Cement, which is for fine detail work. What do you use the GS Hypo Cement for, Debbie? Similar to the gel, but that will set a little bit quicker, but it is a white glue. Okay. So use that. I would probably use that if I was doing, um, say, soutache, and I wanted to put the cabochon onto a piece of felt, but the glue wasn't going to be seen because the cabochon would cover the glue. Okay, and it'll dry you know I mean? quicker. It That's dry, the benefit dry, of that one. Dry slightly quicker, yes. And you've also got the precision tip on there. But do be careful because once you squeeze it, it comes out the tip and it continues to come out. So have a pin ready to push up yeah. the tip, otherwise. And have a little wipey cloth. Yeah, but, not but it is like a white wool. glue, so okay. it can mark things. You can see it when it's dry. That's what right. I'm trying to say. Whereas mm -hmm. the E6000 is clear. Okay, so we got all three. So yeah, we've got, got the choice, everything. which is brilliant. Yeah. I'm also going to give you storage pots. You've got 30 storage pots in here. These are good for polymer clay. You've got the 30 storage pots, so you've got the larger container on the outside, so really 31, and then the 30 small pots for your little findings, for all sorts of bits and bobs in the crafty world that you might have. Uh, we've got all of this for one price tag. Your essentials should be 17. That's a brilliant price tag, 1780. I'm seeing so many of you multiplying. What price tag are you going to? Everyone's going bananas. NAG, don't nag on a Sunday. C79. Fourteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Incredible value. Three lots of glue. Debbie, do the glues last a long time? They do last a long. Can I just say the storage pots are not suitable for polymer clay. These are not suitable for polymer clay. No, the, the clay will eat into it. So, so don't. Do, you can put baked clay in there. Your, okay. All your beads and things. But just, just in case anyone does it and there's a problem. Um, perfect for silver because you can put the little anti-tarnish papers in absolutely there. Absolutely, perfect. I just think for all your, your tiny little seed beads, anyone that just does the fine beading yes. and does your soutache, that's great because you can keep all the sizes and all the colours apart, which is perfect. Ah, perfect. E6000 glue, the GS Hypo Cement in the fabric and the regular GS Hypo Cement. You've also got your storage tray with 30 individual containers um, and then you've got the large one on the outside so great for um, doing all your, your bits of silver and gold your findings and maybe you're collecting things to pop inside resin could be anything like that 14 pounds and 95 pence loads of you in for this one now I am going to give to you something else gorgeous oh yeah these are my faves let me just get my bit let me just get my bits. <laughs> you can't go wrong with a stud earring, can you? You can't go wrong with it. Now, I love these. Stud earrings. Um, I, do, I told you, I, I'm sure, that I was going to take Mia and Chloe to have their ears pierced because I think they're the only 13, 14 year old children without pierced ears. It turns out that they couldn't be bothered in the end, so we didn't go. But I was looking at studs and uh, they're expensive 25 pounds for a pair of little studs what's that about i'm going to give you sterling silver studs now if you want to you can clip off the loops now have you ever jewelry made before if you haven't what an easy way to make some jewelry straight away find your favorite gemstones now we've got gorgeous things like like these 
Aren't these beautiful? All, you, all you've got to do is add them to the stud. You've got a pair of earrings. Don't these look like the Pandora ones? <gasps> We've also got the black diamonds. What about these? Oh, aren't they lovely? Aren't they lovely? You can make your own earrings. Uh, believe me, it's so simple. We've got these little marquees beauties. We had a few of those last night. Oh, that's perfect. Stud earrings, jobs done. Now, you don't just get one pair. Because if you were going into that big craft store, one pair would be what? $9.99? I think so. I'm going to put this in my ear and you get the butterfly backs with them to give you an idea of the size of these once they're in the ears. I have got average size lobes, I would say. Maybe I've got, maybe I've got large lobes, I'm not sure. Maybe I shouldn't judge my own lobes. You be the judge of my lobes. <laughs> right, judge my lobes. Average size lobes. There's nothing interesting about these ears. They're not particularly attractive ears. They're just, they fit the purpose until they got these studs in. Then they're much more glam. Uh, but what you could do is snip off that little loop if you wanted to and just have some stud earrings. I like a stud. I do. I think, that, I think it's nice to just have a stud. Now remember these are solid stone silver, so you don't need to worry about allergies or anything like that. We are going to give you a wonderful deal right now. IPR F39, 10 pairs altogether. Loads of you are loving the eight nine, that's 89.5 pence a pair. Well, it's rude not to get these, isn't it? Rude not to. Mateo, should I pierce your ear? Get over here, lad. <laughs> I pierced my own nose at beauty school, you won't be surprised to learn, and it absolutely killed. I went, Jackie, it's my friend Jackie and Chuck. Watch this. <laughs> I was like, why? Because we had the little guns. Oh, it killed. And it put um, the butterfly in it as well. It took me about four hours to get it out. When I say pain, I would rather have been punched in the face by a wrestler than do that. It, it killed. But they do pierce it with an earpiece, but they just take the back off. It killed. Why would anyone pierce their nose? It kills. And my mum went mad. And I did it with a big stud. So it's like popping out of my nose. And I was like, oh, it really hurt. And everyone was like, why did you just do that? I was like, to get a laugh at my own expense? It really hurt. Nobody really laughed. They all just looked like, oh, horrified. You know? Why would I do something like that? I was a bit, I'm a bit funny in the brain, I think. <laughs> Like I stood on a nail once and I thought, this is going to go through my foot in a minute, and it did. And I was don't. like, ow, why did I do that? Just to see how much it... Do you ever do things like that, or am I mental? That really <laughs> hurt. And do you know what the worst of it was? It was rusty, and I had to lift my foot back up it. Oh, no, 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 no. to get back no, to my no, house. No, no. But I am quite hard like that. I don't... I, I was like, oh... And then I didn't cry until I got to the door and then I went, Mummy! Like, because I was little. Because my sock. <laughs> yeah, why did you do that, Jenny? I used to get that all the time. Why did you do that? And like, just like the time I, I ate the glass. Do you remember that? Yeah, I ate glass. I was a child. It was um, an antique bauble and my friend, my arch enemy friend, Rosie Radford from it's all right we're friends now uh, from across the road said she used to call me names like irritating and precocious and I never knew what they meant so I'd go back and say mummy Rosie said it was irritating what does that mean and she's like never mind uh, she was that child that was like "Ooh, it's come over from across the road mother uh, that one she was always well clever and um, anyway she had this really posh Christmas tree and the first thing she said to me of course was don't go near my mother's Christmas tree. It's got antique glass baubles on it. If anyone's going to break it, it's you. I will not. They're not glass anyway. They're just regular. They're just from like Woolworths. No, they're not. They're, no, they're not, Rosie. They're just baubles. So I took one and I went to bite into it to prove to her that they were plastic. Well, of course, they were antique, uh, fine glass. And I was like, oh! She was like, I knew it! And her mum just sent me home. Why did you do that, you stupid child? She said to me, go home. And I had to cross the road like that, knock on my own door, and go, woo! And my mum had to pick out the glass. <laughs> I did. My mum's pretty much now glad that I moved to Hertfordshire, because believe me, she's had enough. 
I mean, I must have been, what, seven at the time. No, my daughter's like Safi from Abfab. She's completely sensible. And I'm like, Mia, Mia, watch this. And she's like, just don't do it. Just don't. Now, you've got 10 pairs, eight pounds, 95 pence. That's 89 and a half pence each. Stop ringing, Martha. IPR, F39. <laughs> She's very annoying. All I can hear is ringing in my ears. Come down if you've got something to say to me. Go. She's tired today. Now. She's got, I'm going to see her in the glass in a minute doing this. <laughs> I'll eat your glass baubles, Martha, if you're not careful. Now, number eight, you see. I'm just going to pop these back in. Oh, loads of those. Loads of you have got those. Let's do some more sterling silver before the madness continues. Is, is, uh, is this Zena in the building? I thought I heard you, Babs. Now, you know, um, Zena's quite new here at Jewelry Maker. But she is as crazy as me, which I think a lot of people don't think anyone could be. But it's true. But I'm telling you, and I've said to Zena for about two years now, you need to come on Jury Maker, you need to come on Jury Maker, you need to come on Jury Maker. They finally let two maddens on here. <laughs> She's doing a little evil laugh, so uh, yeah. I wonder what uh, crazy stories Zine. I bet you were a weird child as well, weren't you? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's continued, yeah. There's a lot to be said for the weird child, isn't there? I love it. Weird kids rule. Let's have a look at what I've got for you. You've got tea bar glass. Now, these are solid sterling silver. So if you're thinking about using pearls, what about the Zambian emerald I just gave to you? Always use sterling silver. It adds to the perceived value, and it adds to the value if you want to get things actually taken to be professionally valued. If you're selling jewellery on, isn't the boast much greater when you're saying, oh, that's sterling silver? Well, don't you feel a little bit more proud of your jewellery when it's sterling silver? Deb, would you agree with that? I agree, actually. Yes, absolutely. And also, you can sell it with confidence because you know no one's going to be allergic to it or anything's going to happen. Yes, It's a exactly. peace of mind, I think, sometimes. Especially if people are buying it for a present for somebody else. It's very old-fashioned, I know, to be sort of like, oh, I'm allergic to pressure because it doesn't happen so much anymore because of e-coating. No, no. But it is still implanted in people's minds. They don't want to risk it. Well, no, if you're buying it for yourself, you, you know it's OK. But if, if somebody's buying it and it's for, say, their daughter, you think, well, it's better to buy sterling silver because you oh, don't yeah. know what they're going to react to. So It's a gentle, precious metal. And, and you know what? If you are buying a gift, you always tend to go a bit fancier oh, yeah. than if you were to buy for yourself. Because I'll give myself anything, but if I'm giving it to somebody else, I want it to be a little bit more special, you know? Lots of you in for this one. Good morning, good morning to Jill and Geraldine and Marjorie of Devon, who's got two, Agnes and Anne. Don't forget, you've all got a bottomless basket today, all the way up until midnight. Gail's got three. Oh, Gail. 8 95 All these solid sterling silver, just 8 95 How much value is this going to actually add onto your finished pieces. Maybe you've got two sisters and you all want to make the same jewellery. Or maybe it's you, your mum, your auntie, you all want the same jewellery. Maybe you're going to use these as a feature. These are great for necklaces. These are great for bracelets. Now, because they're a little bit chunkier, they will accommodate something like a nice large pearl, big gemstones like these gorgeous lemon quartz. These are beautiful. Oh, hang about town. What about with these? These are coming up with Zena Manina in, in a moo. They'd be lovely. Bracelets with a toggle clasp because they're chunkier. If you put a tiny little clasp on it, it's not going to be strong enough to accommodate that bracelet. And you don't want it to break when you're using a gemstone as special as this. Chunky design, chunky clasp. I'm wearing a fine uh, silver detailed necklace. You, you would take the shop, but I've dribbled toothpaste down me. Well, it's a rarity that I brush my teeth, Zena, so uh, this is a mark of pride. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't snog me before one o'clock in the afternoon. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, no, I'm joking. I'm uh, really obsessed, actually, with flossing. £8.95. Um, now, I'm going to hand you over to a very lovely, very crazy lady. Please open your arms and bring her into your bosoms. Her name is Zena, and she will be up after this. Goodbye. Lots of love. Mwah.
The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moons Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Get making and good luck. You can now watch clips from Jewelry Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. The first C we look for is colour. The colour of a gemstone refers to the hue, tone and more importantly, the even saturation of colour within the gemstone. This can make the difference between a poor stone and a highly exquisite gem, being highly sought after by collectors worldwide. Secondly, we look for clarity. Almost all gemstones can contain some type of inclusions formed during crystallisation. Some gemstones, for example emerald, are acceptable with inclusions, whilst others are graded on how clean they are. Then we look for carat. Gemstones are always measured in carat weight when cut and commonly in grams as rough. Additionally, there are 100 points in every carat, so every point counts. And last, but definitely not least, we come to cut. The cut is the most misunderstood and underestimated of the four C's. The cut should never be confused with the shape of the gemstone. This is the three-dimensional form, whilst the cut is the direct manipulation of the gemstone's facets by the lapidrist. Many factors are involved here, including the vision, experience and expertise of the lapidrist. If accomplished perfectly, a truly exquisite gemstone can be crafted into a work of art. You can now keep in touch by following Jewelry Maker on Twitter. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewelry maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information. If for any reason you're not satisfied with your purchase, you have the benefit of our no quibble 30 day money back guarantee. Just complete the returns form enclosed with your goods and send them back for a full refund. Hello, good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, good morning, Debbie. Good morning. Oh, I'm excited again. I'm going to have to get over this, aren't I? Yes, it might help if I told you who I was, might it? Zena. Zena, Zena, Zena. Now, I'm Steve's cousin, but um, I'd like you to not hold that against me. I mean, think of our lovely Sheila. Think of our lovely Linda. I mean, we can't help who we've, who we've got family, can we? We can't. Um, so, good morning. Can I just say as well, I have had the most loveliest drive into work today. Do you know why? I was crooned at all the way in. Oh, Bruce... Um, no, not Bruce. I was thinking of, not Bruce, I was thinking Bruce Willis then, that's not right. Bing Crosby, Debbie. Andy Williams. Andy Williams, Andy Williams. gosh. My favourite, my, I can't tell you what radio station was, can I? But it, it's got a number two in it. Um, and, um, <laughs> and uh, Matt Monroe, my personal oh, favourite, yeah. Matt Monroe. Oh, I was crooned at. I was, I was crooned at. So I've, I've literally, yeah, a Sunday morning. Lovely, lovely crooning, all that, sun was shining. Oh, I had a little sing-song on the way to work, I did. I did, I did a little. Um, anyway, thank you so much for joining us. We've got a very busy morning, apparently. Lots of you out there, so thank you. And in a little bit, we're going to meet all the people on the Sunday experience, aren't we? All the lovely ladies I can see through there. Look, there they are. Oh, they're all waving, look. Oh, good. Oh, it's a good job, but we didn't... Oh, can they hear us in there, then? Yes. Oh, we... oh it's a good job I knew that. I'd have been talking about them, look. 
Oh, thank God I'm all right. Nothing more. Oh, my goodness, thank goodness. We're fine. Right then, so we're going to start with a spotlight deal coming up next. <laughs> Hello, my lovelies. Well, we have got something. I think I'm being spoiled looking after you because I'm quite new to the world of the the a magical and amazing world of jewellery maker. We've got something new for you. Okay, absolutely brand new. You won't have seen this before, and it's very long. I must say, it's so long. Um, right then, let's remember it goes on the right hand, haven't we? Yes, I'm used to working on the lounge, one of our other channels. And I always put it on my left hand, so it does take a bit of getting used to. But uh, we're there, we think. So we're going to start with this brand new strand of let's put it this way if you love black diamonds but you want the black diamond look and you want it without the price tag but you want all the luster in fact I'm gonna go as far to say you probably get more luster from a from a black spinel so if you want the black diamond look but without the price tag as we said is it a meter oh my I said it was long didn't I I did say it was long. I mean, if you think, what am I? I'm a metre. I think I'm a metre and 65 centimetres. That's long, isn't it? That's long, isn't it? You know, I'm a human being. Questionable, I know. But I am apparently part of the human race. One metre 65 I am. And you've got a whole metre of black spinel. Beautiful. Is that me or the, ch is that me or the strand? Somebody just said beautiful. I'm going to go with that. Gold plated as well sterling silver oh yeah and just to mention 25 carats of black spinel do you know what i, I haven't got the we're going i'm only here for a couple of hours if, if i sat here if i sat here and counted how many black spinel were on there the two hours would be gone so i i, I can't do that i can't do that but there is a lot now debbie could i just ask you a question mm -hmm. my lovely lady sat over can. there bless her Debbie, now I'm new to the world of jewellery maker. If I wanted to start with something really simple, and literally, could you almost just attach a clasp to that and be done? You could. You could, couldn't you? You could. I mean, it's long enough just to put twice around your, your head and a clasp or a or, or tiny little jump ring, and it could just be the most fabulous necklace. Because I think when it comes to the summer and you have all these bohemian sort of dresses off yeah. the shoulder, I think yeah. it's really nice to have a nice long necklace. A long Or you can just, just knot it or something. Oh, yeah. But to make that necklace, and then we say this every time we see these, to, to, to actually sit and make those loops identical is hard work. Wow. So it's good value. Yeah, and I mean, you could even, you could even take, I mean, you, you don't want to waste too much of this. I mean, if you did want to make a couple of necklaces and a bracelet, you, but equally, you don't want to waste anything because when it's gold plated and it's sterling silver, you don't want to really want to waste a, a, even a link, do you? No, you don't. No. But you could, you could easily make a necklace, a bracelet. You could do it. Or an anklet. Anklet. Oh, yes. Do you know, I, I'm not going to say who it was, but I did see one of our crew. He's a boy and he had an anklet on with shorts the other day. And I tell you what, he looked great. Yeah. He looked absolutely nice, really, really funky. Oh, was it you? No. Oh, right. I just had somebody in my ear then saying, oh, was it me? Um, but, uh, oh, hello, Ben. Hello, darling. How are we? I've been spoken to. Hello, Ben. Lovely. I don't know why I went posh then. So, black spinel. Now, already feel free to multi-buy that's what I would say okay so it's gold plated sterling silver a whole meter so 25 carats now um, obviously um, the code there for you is WAUD 86 okay it's fantastic uh, just to let you know as well each one of these look each one of these is three by two mil so three by just to give you an idea of size now already you're listening to me on the multi-buy aren't you um, a non in Essex has got ton, uh, got two even, two ton, two. Um, Marjorie in Devon, beautiful Devon, has got three. And then there's so many of you, a lot of you have got it in your baskets as well. Okay, a lot of demand for this. Should we get the price in? Oh my goodness me, 14 .95. I still giggle. This is it. It's only my third time on, and I still I giggle every time the price comes in. I can't help myself. I'm going to have to get used to it, aren't I? Um, because. Um, We've got, oh, don't forget as well, you can text us as well. Oh, we're already texting. Also, I'm psychic. Look, I'm psychic. Who have we got? I'm looking up there because the screen's up there in case you're thinking, what's she doing? 
Where is it? Oh, it's where I'm. Oh, is it? Oh, it's, a, oh, it's, a, oh, it's over there. Oh, right, got to go over there. Um, right, I'm just a little. Yes, they've let Zena out of the cupboard again. Uh, um, chain, yeah. The lounge is called the Naughty Cupboard. It is. It is. It, you can't swing a cat in there. Not that you would. Um, great to see you back on Jewelry Maker Screen again. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, we've got another text as well. Debbie, hello. Oh, I like the way. Oh, another Debbie. Oh, she spells her name posh, Oh, posh, she? yes, very oh, nice. Oh, I like that, very Debbie. Nice too. Oh, yeah. Um, Jewelry Maker Studio. Um, hi, Zena and Debbie. Saw you last week and you were wonderful. Oh, Anthony. Oh. Oh, is that me or Debbie? Both. Should we, <laughs> both. Should we both have it, Should Debbie? Should we both take that? Shall we? Both take that. We'll both yeah. have it. Um, but we're not looking at... Um, Telly, I thought I was listening to Julie Waters. I do, yeah, I do. I think that was me then, Debbie. Sorry, back to me then. <laughs> do you ever see that? It's, it's. I always remember watching Bette Midler on a film. Have you seen it? When she's going on about herself all the time and she keeps saying, oh, it's all about me, 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 me. And then she says, actually, enough about me. What do you think about me? <laughs> Oh, lovely. I love that. I love it. So thank you. I do get Julie Walters a lot. Sorry, Julie, if you're watching. You know, but thank you. That's a lovely message. What a lovely message. Thank you. Posh name for Debbie as well. How do you spell yours, Debbie? Double B-I-E. Oh, you're a, you're a, you're oh, yeah. a classic. I am. It's a classic, I am a classic definitely. It's a classic. So, shall we recap? 14.95. There's so many. I, how many did we start with, by the way, Helena? 112. Half have gone already. Half have gone. We've got Brenda buying three. We've got lots of Brenda. Well done. Margaret's got two. Uh, uh, there's so many of you multi buying. Um, got a lot of people. We've got some lovely names, haven't we? Martina. Oh, what a look. D does make you thirsty, doesn't it? Sorry, Mark. Sorry. I bet you get that all the time, don't you? Like I get Warrior Princess all the time. I do. Now, there are only a few left. Um, oh, oh. Oh, we're going on number nine next. I'm just giving you a bit of inside information. This is what I get fed through me here. We're going to your right. They've got to assume I know my right from my left, haven't they, as well? Eh? I do, thankfully, Helena. You're all right, lovely. So, good luck, good luck, good luck. Don't forget, if you are telephoning in on 0800 644 that's great. But also remember, you are up against everybody that's got it in their basket online. And it is first come, first served. Okay, so your spotlight, a whole metre. Oh, I could skip across to you with this, Debbie. <laughs> Good. You could. Not that I would. I've not got my sports bra on. We're not going to do that. Uh, right then. Okay. Number nine. Oh. Oh, is this the lovely tea bar connectors? Oh. To oh, they're toggle. I never knew that. Toggle. Toggle cloth. Now, I don't know about you, but I do happen to think that, and I'm, and, um, on with these. Personally, can I just say, I think, Debbie, I don't know about mm. you, whenever I see, I'll show you those in a minute, do I just stand them up? Are we going to try and stand them up? Is that what I'm going to do? Or can I pick one up? I'm going to try and pick two up at the same, well, I'm going to pick one up for now. I'm not, I'm going to, I'm not going to get brave yet. Because I might catapult with the tweezers and she's not got her safety goggles on, have you, Debbie? No. No, she's got her glasses on, we'll be all right. Might bounce off. <laughs> um, but for me, when I see a tea bar clasp, okay, a lovely tea bar clasp, I do think it's, makes it really fashionable okay really really fashionable second I see a t-bar and I think t-bars are really 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 um, secure again like we we're talking about earlier our lovely Jenny earlier my good friend Jenny she was saying I've got some beautiful strands of gemstones coming up which are nice and weighty and chunky when you've got something like that you do need a secure clasp do you don't you because you don't want to lose it do you now you're wondering well where's the t-bar well shall I just here's one I made earlier now, I'd like to say I didn't actually make it. Obviously, don't panic. I didn't make it, honest. It wouldn't look like that if I'd made it. Okay, so that's the T of the T-bar that goes through that lovely, um, beautiful circle there. Just to take it right back to basics, as I am new. Again, we've got some people multi-buying. Now, when I was listening to, because I, I have been watching to get used to you all, to make sure I know what I'm, hopefully know what I'm doing. I'm not there yet. But correct me if I'm wrong, Debbie, but Mark, our lovely Mark, yes, see. was saying that when he puts a silver clasp on a piece of jewellery, and bear in mind this is gold-plated sterling silver, he adds at least £5 to the jewellery. Oh, gosh, yes. At least. Yeah. And that was silver. Jenny and I were saying earlier, actually, that a, piece, a, a nice piece of jewellery, you can almost double the price if you have a good fixing, a good finding wow. on it. You can have 
um, you can have pretty basic gemstones and put fabulous findings and charge a fortune. Wow. You can have stunning gemstones and have rubbish findings and yep. you won't sell it for love nor money. Because yeah. people want it to be secure and yep. the finding becomes part of the design. Because a lot of us you'll find being on here will use the toggle clasps in different ways. We'll use it at the front. I was going to say for a necklace and everything. That's it doesn't right. have to just be a bracelet, does it? No, they can, it can make be a part big of feature, a pendant. can't they? Exactly. So it can become part of the jewellery. So sell it of what it is. It's a precious Absolutely. metal. Absolutely. We've got a lot of weight here as well. Not me. <laughs> Well, looking at me. I'm working on it. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Uh, gold plated 925 sterling silver toggle <laughs> clasps, as we know that they are there. I'm just having a look. Have we got 20, oh, it's a 22 mil bar. We've got 13 mil on the clasp. We get three of them in this, in this, in this, um, in this code. Um, again, a lot of people multi buy. I don't blame because when you see something you need, you might as well get a few, mightn't you? That's what I think. Put it in your stash, you will call it, don't you? You've got your little stash. So have we actually got a weight there? We've got... No. No, we haven't got a weight. We could guess, couldn't we? See, that's what I'd do when I got it home. I'd pop it on the scales. I'd pop it on the kitchen scales and have a little weigh, I would. I'd, I'd be ever so interested. You could do that. So gold-plated, genuine sterling silver, as our lovely Debbie's just said there, our beautiful guest designer there, who's busily working away on the challenge we've set her, I, ha I happen to think. Yes. I wasn't, now, this is exciting, because I wasn't here when the challenge came on. Oh. So this is going to be doubly, doubly interesting, isn't it, Debbie? <laughs> Absolutely. No idea what she's doing. Um, hello, Lizeth. Oh, Lizeth watched last Saturday, didn't you, Lizeth? Lizeth is my friend in Germany. And uh, she makes herself some beautiful statement pieces. Okay. Now, am I right in thinking that's our naughtiest price we're allowed to go to on Jewelry Maker? Oh, yeah. Rock bottom. Rock bottom. Are we allowed to say rock bottom? Are we allowed to say bottom? Oh, it's a Sunday morning. What are we doing? Okay. So, a derriere. Yes, a derriere. A derriere price. Okay. I do tend to go into my Vera mode when I'm like that. So, 6 95 If you think about it, Per T-bar um, toggle, that's technically, what, £2.30, or oh, I'm going £2.30, oh, I was nearly there, £2.31. I was just making everybody work. I was nearly there. Um, £2.31. £2 Did you do it by calculator, bit? Come on. I did see a calculator in there. And now, all right, now how many of these did we have? So we had just, just over 100 of these, going very, very fast. Oh yes, going very, very fast. And as we were just talking to Debbie there, you know, it's not just for bracelets. You can really make a feature, really, really make a feature of these. Because obviously, with these beautiful T-bar toggle clasps, as they're called, um, but toggle clasps rather, I'm calling them T-bar, I would usually think of them as a T-bar, but as Debbie said, you can really make a feature, especially when they're gold-plated, sterling silver, they kind of deserve to be made attention on, don't they? They really do. So there you go, good luck, lots of people multi-buying, welcome everybody, lots of people got it in their basket, oh and Ivy. Oh, Ivy in Lincolnshire, that was my nan's name. Steve Bennett and mine, we've both got the same nan. Oh, we did, I mean, she was called Nanny Ivy. She was a nutter. Um, lovely nutter. Um, but that's whose motorbike. We've got a motorbike parked outside, in case you were all wondering, everybody on the, on the, yes. No, it is our nan's. It is our nan's. She drove it till she was 63. Yeah, she did. 63. She'd, she'd, do a, she'd be the person at the front of the carnival in a full clown outfit with a tickling stick, tickling everybody in the carnival as she drove past. Tickling stick, oh yeah. Anyway, I don't think we're going to have many of these left. So if you d would like them, you can actually buy by credit card or debit card, or if you like PayPal, you can do that on our app. Oh, we've got it all going on at Jewelry Maker. Oh yeah, we have. Right then, so shall I put these to one side? Shall I just? I'm just going to put them away because I've, I've been taught to be tidy. I am. Uh, am I going to be everybody's favourite? You've got to tidy up after yourself, haven't you? You know, you have. Right, there you go. So I'm going to put those to one side because I'm not going to fully tidy up because I don't know where they are. Left, right. Oh, one of the one of the big four precious gemstones in the world. I think you could line up a hundred people and I think everybody would recognise a sapphire. Don't you? You know, even if you don't know I mean, you could labradorite if you're new to the world of gems or a topaz. You know, you wouldn't necessarily know, would you, but brand new. Or oh, is it is it Burmese? Oh, we are spoiling you. 
Hello, Coral. Coral's just walked in. What Coral wants to come in and have a look at the sapphires. Something to mention about sapphires. This is brand new. It's the classic blue. So the most sought after. I mean, a big favourite of the royals. Did you know? Did you know that Liz, my friend, Queen Elizabeth, that is the second. I've not met her, but I do pretend. Um, she's got apparently a massive love of, of sapphire. She's got it under the vault. Un in a big underground vault under Buckingham Palace, she has got lots of sapphire. Did we all know that? She'll be messaging in a minute saying, I'm not telling you where it is. But yeah, massive, massive vault filled with sapphire. It is the royal gem. But, but a, a lot of people as well are now um, proposing with um, sapphires, aren't they? So we have, can I just show you this as well? They, they are graduated. Can I just show you this? So up by the lovely tickling tassel as I call it the tick the tickling tassel look the lovely tickling tassel um, it goes look from these be I mean these are individually cut and faceted look these little rondelles aren't they lovely and basically they go all the way from those lovely and they give some lovely minute detailing pieces wouldn't they Debbie they are beautiful absolutely beautiful are they almost classes like bead seeds are they, is that what they're called? Seed, seed, seed beads I know I'd get it the wrong way yes yeah, thank seed you beads. I'll so always make you smile Debbie <laughs> So they're good for doing uh, embroidery. Anyone likes doing, you'll be doing embroidery for okay. doing something like soutache, which is where you bead around a bead. Oh, that sounds posh. It does, yes. Oh. Um, or you can obviously split them up and use them with all your other gemstones because the, the amount that's on there, that is amazing. They're really packed onto that they strand, really, aren't they? They really, exactly. That and is I, fabulous. And they do graduate to a lovely size, don't they? Mm. And what I love, can I just mention as well with sapphire, and I'm, 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 assure, I'm assuming you all know, I'm assuming you all know this, now, studio is great. We've got lovely big lights that light us all up. And they do a grand job. They do a grand job. There you go, lighting us up, look. However, they are no substitute for daylight at all. Sapphires really need, really need sunlight to sort of be their best. Be their best. You know when you, you, know when you really want to look your best? And you're going out and you want, um, oh gosh, yeah, you do. I get your 30-day money-back guarantee as well, don't you? Because you're buying with confidence. 30 days, yes. 30 days they get that um, and um, but yeah bit of sunlight and you watch these come alive you know you know when you want to look your best and you put your best outfit on and your best home handcrafted jewelry that you've made yourself your lucky things because you're all so talented then they're gonna look amazing absolute daylight now let's talk this through 55 carats so when our lovely Debbie there just said they are jam-packed onto here we're not kidding are we 50 five carats of the classic blue now any other color is called fancy sapphire the only color of sapphire that is you know absolute sapphire is is the blue because all other colors are fancy which i still you know still like it but they are look i do you know i dread when i have to say plain rondelles because there's nothing plain about these are there it is sapphire along with the now do you know as well that sapphire and ruby are identical twin sisters did you know that exactly the same material corundum you don't have to roll the r's you don't have to roll the r's but i, I can't help myself so beautiful graduated sh now are you like me at home or wherever you're watching do you like to try and guess what we're going to come in at on the price i think we all do don't we right then now i've got an idea of what i think this is going to be but i bet you're going to surprise me so come on then helena give it oh my goodness me there we go 39.95 now we're talking here a 37 millimeter strand absolutely jam-packed with these beautiful graduated sapphires with the classic blue i'm just having a little look up there to see what they are and uh, we've got two by one mil four by two mil um, so they as i said they do change in the sizes for you 37 millimeter strand now we've got a lot of people online we've got roseanne we've got ali we've got carol we've got jane we've got pauline we've got mary lots of people have already bought and again gail in beautiful cornwall oh my goodness me i'm, I'm desperate to come to cornwall gail because i've been watching that i don't know whether we're allowed to talk about television programs but i've been watching are we are we allowed pole dark oh oh debbie have you watched it um, I haven't actually, oh, but I, I, did, I did hear the first series, his scar got shorter and longer and shorter. You and won't care. You're not you looking won't at care there. when you see that face, De I'll oh, tell right. you Debbie. 
All but right, fine. the reason being I'm saying about that is not <laughs> just lo lost after this lovely man, but it's all set in Cornwall. It's all set in Cornwall beautiful. and it's glorious. Mm. It's glorious. So a beautiful gemstone for a beautiful area, Gail, in Cornwall, you lucky thing. And um, oh, and we've got Ali in the Isle of Man. Oh, well done. Congratulations. Now, I'm having a, I'm having a feeling that we've not got that many of these. They're going very, very fast. Very, very fast indeed. I'm having a look. I always wonder when you come back to me and I'm looking up there. You know, we've got to make sure we're all, you know, clean and tidy, haven't we? But, um... <laughs> Oh, we've got some eye pins coming up. In, oh, is that coming up next? Oh, fantastic. Oh, they're in rows as well. Now, the reason that we're moving on so swiftly, sorry about that. I mean, we could sit in, I could sit here all hour and chat about sapphires, especially this strand. But unfortunately, when you get something of this calibre, calibre of this high-end pedigree of sapphires, we can't, we don't have very, we don't have very many. We don't have very many. We certainly don't have, just certainly don't have very many now because you're all having a field day, aren't you? Hello, Patricia. Well done. Well done. And Tina's just come in. Hello, Tina. Um, so there you go. Good luck, good luck, good luck. We're going to move on now, I think, aren't we? Yes. Don't want to put them down. You know, you, just, you know when you just don't want to take something off? I mean, can you imagine? I mean, it must be amazing, mate. I mean, when I started uh, on, on Jewelry Maker last week, we had a Tanzanite strand. I mean, you really have got. And um, who was I watching the other day? I had black diamonds. I mean, my goodness me. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Right then, shall we go to these beautiful eye pins? Now, as I said earlier, for those of you that have just joined me, thank you very much. I am brand spanking new to the world of jewellery maker. I am. I am. Lovely Zena here with you, my lovely things. Um, so, I'm going to have to ask Debbie. Debbie, mm -hmm. eye pins. Yes. What would you do with an eye pin could I ask I'm not I'm sure you don't actually do anything to do with the eyes obviously it well, is a new language it is it is and it's nice it? it's nice actually to have somebody on board who's brand new because you will ask the questions everyone else at home will ask which and, is good and that's because we forget it sometimes we do don't um, we the reason it's called an eye pin it's got a hole like an eye if it's a head pin it's got a round top like a head, oh, head pin. how simple right. is that for an explanation thank there you, you. Go. I won't get mixed up now Debbie <laughs> no and that's the sort of pin that you use to make your chain links so you can pop a, um, a gemstone on there and then yeah. cut it to the same length and make a loop and if you look on our website, you'll see that our tutorials that are very simple that show you how to do the simple things, like just do a wow. loop on an eye pin. So those are the mechanics to hold your jewellery together. The oh, findings to hold the thing so together. It's almost like that black spinel strand that we've yeah, just had. Exactly. That's what you'd use an eye pin for. Exactly. Okay. Yes. I've got you. Thank you for that. And that's the thing. Thank you. I mean, it, as I was saying the other day, it is like with a new presenter on Jewellery Maker. I would imagine it is a bit like a learner driver. Tad frustrating at times, but we've all been there. We've yeah. all got to learn. Yeah, and as think, you said... I think we forget sometimes. Yeah, and I think we do get new viewers every time we have a show, yeah. don't we? Every single show. So consequently, we do have to think about the fact that we need to go back to basics sometime. Okay? Now, these are rose gold-plated. Oh, my goodness me. We're not hanging around today, are we? So sterling silver and rose gold-plated. Now, again, rose gold is making such a comeback. Such a comeback. In fact... Um, a member of my family has just got a member of our extended family. Oh, sorry about that. I just dropped one. Um, has just got married. He's a young gentleman. He's only in his early 20s. And he had a rose gold wedding band. Because, you know, really, it's really coming back into fashion. Now, how many do you get? 20, 20 of these eye pins. 20. Now, I would imagine, Debbie, that gets utilised pretty quickly, 20 eye pins, then. Disappears. Disappears, I would imagine, Completely disappears. Yeah. I mean, everyone that does this craft will know that you have boxes and boxes and boxes of findings. And right. if you don't, uh, if you get halfway in, you're making something and you're halfway through, and yeah. you run out, you lose yeah. your mojo completely. Oh, I can so imagine. So it's best to stock up on things yeah. like that to make okay. sure you've got them. So multi-buy, yeah. 100%. And Absolutely. that's the saying, thank you, Debbie. It does add to the value of the jewellery, um, big time. As our lovely, lovely Debbie has just said, they do disappear very, very quickly. There are 20 pieces. I would imagine we're going to give you the most fantastic price point. I'm very excited. <laughs> yeah. I had a feeling when we're going to go to 6 95 because that is amazing. Brilliant. Got rose gold plated, all 20 of them. Be I must say they're beautifully made. Absol look at those. They're so lovely. They must be lovely to work with. Um, and rose gold plated. But as our lovely Debbie was saying there, might be an idea to multi-buy again. I feel like I keep telling you to multi-buy, but as we said, and something else to mention, and I think you're going to agree with me here, actually, Debbie, 
surely when you're making a piece of jewellery it is all about the quality of the tools oh, yeah. and the gemstones and the findings that you're putting in there. Exactly. If you're making it for yourself you'll make do but if you're making it for somebody else or as for a gift. special occasion nothing is more embarrassing than if you make yeah. something and it falls to pieces or yeah. something or it's, it's poor quality findings. Yeah. Um, it's like a, a car with a bad engine, it's just a dreadful. Absolutely. So no, it's better to have the good quality parts and then you can sell with confidence and you can wear things yeah. with confidence. Absolutely. And it is about confidence, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. And if you spent the time and the care to create a piece of jewellery, you've, you know, you've taken the time to select the right findings, you've gone for silver, you've gone for the rose gold plated or the gold plated that we had just with the black spinel, you want the right findings and then as Debbie says you're basically creating something with confidence okay we've got the whole dish here I mean as I said all 20 of them in that lovely um, I won't say what I think it looks like but there you go I'm sure we can oh they're all having a field day look they're having a little dance in there you've got 20 rose gold plated 20 again now I'm just looking at the list in front of me okay and out of everybody that's bought so far, I think nearly everybody has bought two or three. There's the odd exception, but nearly everybody, because like Debbie's just said, they're, they're essential. It's an essential. It's an absolute essential. We can't do without the essentials, can we? We can't. We can't. Now, can I just ask Debbie, um, mm -hmm. I'm not going to ask yet quite properly what you're doing with the, uh, with the mm -hmm. challenge that Jenny gave you earlier, but are you using any eye pins? Yes, I have used eye See? pins. Yes, I've used loads of them actually. Loads of them. Loads. Loads and loads and loads and loads. Well, there you go then. We'll have a look <laughs> later. Um, good luck, good luck, good luck. They are flying. They are flying out the door. So, um, good luck, my lovelies. Good luck. Okay, so, sh oh, okay. We are going with some great big whoppers here. Oh, oh can I just say the weight? Oh, there. Oh, and the sparkle. They do feel expensive. They do feel expensive. Oh my word, let me just show you these. A brand new again. Oh, I'll tell you what's just brand new after brand new, isn't it? Oh, we like that. Well, you can clearly see. Can I say, when I first came to work here as well, this gemstone, um, and it's pretty much stayed, and they're completely natural. Because you can get um, heat-treated heat amethyst without question, but these are most definitely, this really beautiful, deep, rich amethyst color is completely natural. This across our business, okay, across all of our sister channels, is by far the number one repeat gemstone. Do you know why I think that is? I think purple is a big, big, big favorite. And I think it crosses all the seasons, okay, all the seasons. It is very regal, but also, I think because it comes in such a, and this is a great Sunday morning word, even if I do say my, myself, a plethora of colours. <laughs> yes. Um, plethora of colours. All different hues, all different tones. I mean, you can get amethyst in green, in pink, in purple. I mean, this is a real chameleon, isn't it? I won't sing. It's a bit early for you, isn't it? Although on the lounge last night we were having a, we were all do, we were doing children's songs. We had everything. Boomerang won't come back. We're on the stair, a little mouse with clogs on, Nelly the Elephant. We had everything. Everything going. Only because I sold a Nelly the Elephant ring. It all started us off. Had a right sing song. So amethyst. Now we're talking a big carrot weight. Huge carrot weight. Three hundred and sixty carats. Now, every single one, the reason, and again, can you see, look, that's what's known as luster. That is luster. Now, I'm moving that almost in slow motion, aren't I? Barely, barely rotating. Now, if you were, if you'd got this as, um, gosh, you could put this into anything, couldn't you? I mean, they are huge, and I would say, I don't know about you, Debbie, but I'd think about alternating that with a different colored gemstone because of the depth of tone. Yes, I think you're right actually, yes, they, they would look stunning with, with so many different things and so many different metals as well because oh, we have, yeah. you know, that would look stunning with rose gold, very contemporary with the silver yeah. and it would look quite 
um, evening if you put the gold with it or yep. antique bronze but yes you could put something like labradorite with it or, oh, I love or even a flash of orange with it I mean, everyone's clashing colours now. They are. That's a and big that thing. I've look, seen that. Yeah, and that would look yeah. really striking. That is a Very big striking. thing. Yeah. I do think amethyst, though, is one colour that that people. Amethyst is something you learn about even at school. Yeah. And people trust you. Do you do actually, don't you? Yeah. There's something about oh, the, the amethyst that? That, that people trust because yeah. they know exactly what it is. Yeah. I'd love to have been born in February because then it's your birthstone, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I would. When were you born, Debbie? What's yours? March, aquamarine. Oh, aquamarine, nice. Oh, yes, very I'm nice. a garnet. Oh, are you? I'm a garnet gal. So there you go. Uh, but yes, yeah, so amethyst, beautiful, deep, rich. And don't forget, this is a brand new strand. They're big as well. 12. Oh, no, I just. What? What? Right? What's a premiere price? Is that when it's brand new? <coughs> oh, am I allowed to say that? Oh, this is a first. Oh, this is what's lovely. This is this is what's lovely about being new to jewelry maker. All these lovely things I don't know. I've just been told we're doing a premiere price, which means we're gonna we're going to do something that we shouldn't really do. So I'm guessing we're going under the price that we should really be at. So that's a little cheeky Sunday morning treat, isn't it? Okay. So I take it that that's not the price we're going to. I'm guessing that's where we should be. What are we going to do? What are we going to do for you, my lovelies? What are we going to do? Oh! <laughs> I'm giggling again. Sunday trip. Well, it's the early bird that caught the worm, isn't it? You've got to be up on a Sunday to get these deals. Uh, Catherine, Diana, um, Sidonia, what a beautiful name. Yasadara. Oh, my word. We've got an Ooh, illustrious like that. lot, haven't we? Sheen. Helen, Sue, oh, we've got a posh lot. Oh, we have. Uh, well done, there's lots, oh my goodness me. When I look at this screen, can I tell you, because I don't suppose you get to see the view that I do, do you? But there's a screen in front of me, and what it does is it tells you, it's a bit like Big Brother, we can see what you're doing. I uh, can't see if you're making a cup of tea, so don't worry, I can't see if you, what you're making for breakfast or anything, or what you're wearing. But, um, and don't forget, you can text me in, 660777, just pop JM Studio on so that we know it's for us. Otherwise, it can go all over the place. Um, but yeah, drop us a message if you can. And um, love to, love to hear from you. But this is brand new. As we said, we've gone under where we should be. Really, 11.95 is where we should be. But, oh, I've just had a text come in. Oh, thank you. Um, Emily, oh, I love that name, Emily. Um, oh, this is my favorite tone of amethyst. See, the, the, all different tones, aren't they, Emily? She thinks just pure glam and goes with anything. Well, that's what Debbie was just saying. Yeah. She's nodding away over there. I bet that's the only thing that's frustrating when you're the guest presenter. Everything we've got, I bet you, you're sitting there itching to get it, aren't you, Debbie? I know, because cut. the problem is when everything's on, on here, when we're on the channel, yeah, we can't phone up, so we can't order it, and it's, it oh. it's really frustrating. Oh, yeah, I bet it is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it is. I can see the eyes boring into mm. me from over there mm. with our lovely Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. I feel quite... I feel quite in awe sitting with Debbie today because I've watched Debbie on DVDs. It's like meeting a star, <laughs> Debbie. Oh, no. Oh, it no, is. No, no, no. Oh, it is. I was quite... I walked in today and I thought, oh, I'm going to be sat with Debbie. Oh, I did. Oh. Uh, right, the list is literally going... D -d 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 all the names. All the names. I, I'm guessing we've probably not got that many left now, have we? We are going fast and furious. Have you had black diamonds this morning? Yes. Oh, yeah, got it. Oh, now that's funny because when I was watching the other day, I did say that you've got black diamonds, and I don't think it happens very often, does it? No, I don't think it does. So, good luck. But you had these early with my lovely Jenny. We do love Jenny, don't we? We do. Does it come in this lovely box as well? Oh, you get the box as well. Oh, so that's good because you actually present your jewellery in the, in the box then, couldn't yeah. you? Okay, should we have a little look what we've got? Oh, they're lovely. Oh, 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 oh. Three gorgeous. Oh, the spark, the scintillation. Okay, scintillation is what you're looking for. Scintillation is sparkle. And there we go. There we go. So we're having to give you a little recap here. Three Beautiful carrots. Now, I, I don't want to tease you too much because we don't have many left. Okay, we don't have many left, but we didn't want you to miss out. And I think they've been nice to me. Let me just have a look at them. Because I did mention black diamonds now. Goodness me. 
beautiful quality as well absolutely stunning the reason we take it slightly out of focus there for you not to make you feel a bit woozy after the night before I promise you but it's to show any rainbow coming through any fire and any beautiful sparkling luster now even if I just do this look do you see look again I'm very slowly rotating you're gonna get so much scintillation from these now I would think you're going to want to use these sparingly. These have got to be for somebody special, haven't they? Oh, they're beautiful. You know, now I know our motto is create, wear and share. You don't have to share. You could just create and wear, couldn't you? I'll tell you when, when you've got black diamonds, it must be a bit of a, it must be, I know we've all been taught to share in life and we should really, shouldn't we? But I bet that's a bit of a temptation to keep it for yourself, isn't it, Debbie? Oh, would it yes. be? And sometimes, we, Jenny said this morning, sometimes you've got to spoil yourself. Haven't you, you have, haven't you? Yeah. Because if, nice. if you don't, you know, feel good about yourself, you can't feel any, you can't yeah. be, I don't think you can fully. And don't forget that you're the advert. If you're walking around with jewellery on, you're your own advert. Oh, so yeah. So you've got to make something nice. That's my excuse. That's a good point. Do you know what? I'm so sorry. Yeah. Helena was chatting away at me here then. Do you know what, Helena? I was so intrigued by Deb. I didn't listen. <laughs> I'll be honest. I'll be honest, Helena. Didn't listen to a word. Do you want to give it to me again? Oh, have you got one of our fabulous kits coming up? Oh, 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 no, I do love. I love the strands. I do. Can I just say, we have, how many of these have we got left, by the way? Oh, we've only got ten. Oh, nine. Can you see, as I speak, another one goes. <laughs> so, we're down to single finger. Single fingers. Single figures. Oh, can you look at me over there? I'm not surprised. Um, is that our lovely prize? 160. Oh no! Just to warn you as well. I know. I know. I say. I've, I know. I've got nine. You know when you go around the supermarket and you pop things in your trolley or your basket, they're not actually yours, are they? Till you go through that checkout, are they? So be like walking down the aisle of the supermarket and people just taking things while you're not looking at your basket, wouldn't it? So that's the only thing, if you are thinking, I'm going to ring up, I want this beautiful strand of exquisitely scintillating diamonds. We've got quite a, we've e easily got nearly the amount that we've got left in people's baskets. So if they all physically check out, I don't want to rush you, but if they do, then you might just be disappointed. Okay, you've got your 30-day money-back guarantees. If you want to get these home, obviously. Um, I had this same problem last night when I was presenting. Somebody was asking, and then the time they asked me about the bracelet, both had gone. So it is a, it's one of those, please, please, please don't miss out. Can we do a kit? It's a new kit, I'm guessing. Did you see how quick I am? Did you? New kit. Right then, okay, we're gonna do a kit. Right, point me in the, oh, can I just put these very gently back in this, mind you, we don't, that's another, one last thing to mention, I'm sorry, I'm, I am chatting. But can I just say, the most robust, tough gem of them all. 10 on the Mohs hardness scale. Okay, so you can really, really enjoy, enjoy everyday wear with black diamonds. Okay. Oh, hello, Danny. Hello. Oh, a little vision has just walked into the studio. How are you? Go you haven't cut your hair yet, then? No. No, he needs his hair cutting. Um, don't like to say, but there you go. Right, so we've got a lovely new kit. Where, where are we going? Oh, this lovely... The one that's right here. <laughs> Okay, oh, I can see Rose, Rose, lovely findings. I can see lovely wires. I can see pearl. Oh, yes. Okay, right then. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a little, I'm gonna have a little mooch. Can we have, can I have a, can I start with the two strands of pearls? Because I do think pearls are timeless, ageless, complete. Well, I, can, I would say classic, but contemporary as well. They're like a, they're like one, one thing does all. Yeah, absolutely. Now, what I love, 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 and I must say about the beautiful, beautiful pearls that we bring you is the whiteness. And when you're looking for contrast and you're making jewellery against other, other coloured gemstones, you do want that whiteness because it's, it's, it's about the pedigree. Straight away, you can see they're two different sizes, yes, in case you were thinking you're right. You know, don't worry, your glasses are working. Your contact lenses, whatever you've got on, you might have 20 20 vision, you're lucky things, you never know. Two different sizes. Okay? Now, what we've got here are the small nuggets. So, the smaller nuggets, we've got 5 by 7 mil. Then we've got 8 by 9 mil. So, two different sizes. 
okay, which is going to work lovely. And again, even if you had one of these and then sort of place two of the smaller ones either side, it just gives a little bit of detail, doesn't it? Oh, I'm, I'm getting into this, Debbie. I'll tell you, when I start <laughs> making jewellery, there's going to be no stopping me. Now, you get both these strands. They're a good... It um, doesn't give you the length, actually, but... Um, now, it doesn't give you the length. Not worry. We'll, we'll have a little guess, but uh, you can see, look, a considerable considerable length of both of those lovely pearls let me show you because you're also getting unbelievably emeralds now the green of emeralds i mean my goodness me going to go lovely lovely how much is it sorry helena 180 cows of pearls oh i was going to say hang on a minute i was thinking hang on a minute we're not doing pearl, em, pearl carrots on pearls um now so we could, you could double strand this easily, couldn't you, with this length, I tell you. It's absolutely gorgeous. So again, we've had sapphires, we've had diamonds, we've had two of the big four precious gemstones, now we've got the third. Delicious, very decadent, isn't it, Emerald? Very, very, now what have we called this? Elegant, I can't see that. I don't know whether my contact lenses are working this morning. I can't read that. Must be Erlis. I don't know. I'm not too sure. Er, what's an Erlis? Er, elegant. Oh, we've gone posh. Nobody knows what it means. Oh, is it Welsh? Oh, I wonder. Um, is it Emerald? Elegant? Oh, I don't know. Oh, we're all. Can somebody text me in? Can somebody text me in? What? An, <laughs> is it Erlis? What do we think? What would you? How did you pronounce that, Debbie? I just thought it was Erlis. 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 Oh. Oh, that's so not. It's, it's a snowdrop in Welsh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, is it Pip's mum's name? Oh, Pip nice. oh hello. Oh, well, it's in honour to Pip's mum then. <laughs> what a lovely name. Okay, so back to the lovely Emerald. Wow, a lovely name. But it can't have been, after, been named after a snowdrop. Oh, right, so we've got the beautiful, how many we got? 180 carats of Emeralds. Okay, we're, we're not going to stop there though. We're not going to start an 83 centimetre strand. Can I show you some of these lovely um, findings as well? Rose gold plated, sterling silver again. We've got, oh, now I know this. Debbie, thanks to Debbie this morning. Debbie, correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. We've got head pins. Yeah, that's right. Am I right, Debbie? You are. Have I picked it up right, Debbie? Yes. Because <laughs> Debbie said if it's, got, if it's got a round head, it's a head pin. So we've got head pins, rose gold plated again, sterling silver. I'll show you the beading thread in a moment. Okay, beading thread in a moment. We've got these lovely, how many of these have we got? Let's just have a little look. We're going to find them as a whole. Do you know what, with this kit, can I just say, you get so many sections to this kit, so many variations of finding. The list on the screen in front of me I'm actually struggling to find all the list of what they are because I tell you what, there's so many. You've got head pins. You've got crimps. We've got cable chain. We've got crimp covers. We've got closed jump rings. We've got earring shepherd hooks. My goodness me. We've got fine, a 45 findings pack, 45 pieces of each. We've got lobster clasps. We've got S. I mean, my goodness me. It's more of a case of what haven't we got? Isn't it? And we've got these beautiful, beautiful um, beading thread as well. Okay, so lovely beading thread. Different, lovely different colours. What's the one in the middle? Oh, that's a lovely colour. Rose Can gold. I, that's the rose gold as well, isn't it? Oh, look at this. Wouldn't that go lovely with these findings? Do you know what? It just shows how much thought we put to these kits, doesn't it? I mean, we don't just throw them together, do we? And again, you can't have, em you can't have enough beading thread, can you, Debbie? Oh, no, no, oh, no. Oh, no, no, she says. Shall we get the pricing for this kit? Now, just remember, rose gold plated. There's your pearls. There's your beautiful emeralds. We, okay. Now, you might look at this and all start thinking, I'm going to get that in my basket and I'm going to check out at 34 95 I'm going to show you all three of these beading, uh, beading threads as well. You're getting these, because these will go great with the pearls. We're not going to stay at 34 Was it? Th we're we're going to go more? Oh my goodness me, you're gonna, you, good, good luck, good luck. 22 95 I do love it in here. I do, I do. Sorry Debbie, I do get, I get so excited, don't I? <laughs> it's lovely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get used to it, I, I can't help myself. Um, so, as our lovely Debbie was saying, you, you, you are making with confidence when you're using genuine sterling silver findings and with the lovely rose gold plated, it's just beautiful. Oh, am I going to, oh Debbie. 
Are you ready? Come on, Brace Ella. yourself. On. Brace yourself, Debbie. I'm going for a walk. <laughs> a little jiggle. Hello, Debbie. Hello. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Sorry, I just want to touch you because she's a star. <laughs> Dear me, that'll rub off, that's for sure. Yeah, I watched you on telly in my lounge, Debbie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. can I just say your chainmail creations? Oh, that's what I want to start now, chainmail. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was smitten. Because I thought, they are lovely. Can I tell you what you did teach me? What's that? I never thought the jump rings would open like that, like yeah. a door. Yeah. Brilliant. I'm so easily pleased. It's Absolutely. Yeah. So what, come what? again. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is from the kit we've just done. It is, yes. Now, because of the sterling silver findings, obviously, the, usually the, the, the plated findings, you get lots of chain and everything else. This, y it's paired back to be beautiful quality findings to make individually beautiful items wow. of jewellery. And out of that one kit, you have made two pairs of exquisite earrings, two stunning necklaces, and two bracelets. Have you got anything left over? No, I must admit, I've used, used everything. absolutely everything. I'm not surprised though, because you have got well, it's quite gem heavy that one necklace. I, mean, I, I used a lot of the pearls on that first. Yeah, necklace. on this one here. Yeah, yeah, it's quite gem heavy. So normally we would think, right, we're going to eke it out and put chain on and bits yeah. and pieces. But with that, I wanted to do the whole thing right the way around look. to the back of the neck with the gemstones. And I think it is beautiful. I absolutely love that. I really do. Special. And I get to take these all home, don't I? Sometimes, <laughs> only for Jenny. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> why d why doesn't that surprise yeah, me with yeah. Jenny? Why doesn't mm. that surprise me? So <laughs> bless her. <laughs> she's gorgeous, isn't she? But I can see what you mean about the fact that you've used you really have gone all out on using all the gemstones, haven't you? Yes, I have. And every single finding. Because these these sorts of pieces are pieces that you will wear and feel special. Yeah. And don't forget that when you sell them to your customers, you may make sure that they are labelled differently from your plated findings, that they are definitely a special purchase. Those are beautiful. I love the way you've just dropped the one pale on the bottom. So you've got all those lovely emeralds dropped down. Then that lovely little bit of contrast. Lovely, yeah. I love um, this kit. I absolutely adore it's it. It's fantastic, isn't it? Mm, now, again, let, let's... Now, they're flying out the door. Mm. Twenty two ninety five. I don't know whether I'm going to embarrass Debbie here and ask her, but the amount... If you did decide to sell these creations... Also, I've just put my hand behind there. But if you did decide to sell these creations, Debbie, you... I'm, I'm guessing just one of those necklaces you would make the money back on the kit. Oh, yeah, because if you look at that, if it's £22, £23 for the kit, yep. it's probably just under £4 an item. Wow. So you th you would oh, not wow. sell oh my goodness per me. item £4. I mean, that first necklace, you probably charge, with, with the um, rose gold sterling sil plated silver, you probably sell that for sort of £40, £50. Gosh. In the right place. Wow. You know, because of those beautiful pearls and what have you, and the emeralds. And, you know, this is the thing. I don't know whether you do this, Debbie, because obviously I'm new to meeting you, but when I presented with Fleur last week, just quickly, um, she was she got a Glen Lair Taurus ring on. Mm. And I was thinking, gosh, if you did get into this, and really, as you all do, and obviously, you know, you make a career out yeah. of it as well, and selling at craft fairs and stalls and your internet and everything like that, you could very quickly treat you to those extra things that you, you should You can, because people do get to know you, and if they trust you... And you tell the truth of what it is. Don't sell something plated saying it's sterling silver. Yeah. If when people trust you, they will come back to you, and then they'll ask for commission. You? you have got to yeah, be. Yeah. In this case, you definitely, definitely in any any walks of life, but certainly in this, you can't sell something that isn't yeah. what you say it is. Yeah, so, absolutely. So be absolutely honest, and you know, get your little cards of authenticity. Have those printed off so people know exactly that they are emeralds. Great. Um, That's a good idea. And it will then sell it for you, really. It depends where you sell. Pick and choose where you sell your fabulous pieces. Um, so, do like with our other channels, then I take it you do get the certificate of authenticity with all yeah, of. Oh, do. brilliant! Okay, they are that. important. They are. There's an example, and like Debbie just said, I must say when I give gifts of jewellery, um, I do find those really do add a bit of clout they do. because those they people do. that. If you aren't in the world of jewellery maker and you aren't in the world of gemstones, some of the gemstones like Labradorite that people might not have heard of, and, mm. and, and topaz, and all these, you know, all these lovely and jaspers and malachites and hematites, you know, it does show that the the size, the genuine mm. sterling, because everything's precious metals. 
you know, and the gemstones. It's and also someone's bought something for a present and they want to prove to somebody that these yeah. really are emeralds. They're not just green chips of something. They are emeralds. They yeah. are very special and they can read it and they can see exactly what they're yeah, buying. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Again, and for an insurance purposes as well. You Absolutely. take to a jeweller and say, can I have this valued and this is what it is. Absolutely. Then you'll get a proper yeah. value as lovely. well. Lovely, lovely. Are you going to... Oh, what, are you gonna do, do you want me to do a demo? Oh. Oh, have we got time? Have a, oh, Trying fantastic. To yes. I'm all yours. <laughs> what are you right. going to do then? Right. Well, I'm going to do these little earrings here that have got the beading thread because the rest of it is just sort of stringing. Okay. But I didn't want to cut into a kit because if we cut into a kit, then the whole kit can't be sent back to be sold. Okay. So you lovely people. Oh, we don't want there, to waste one, do we, no. Debbie? So I've just pulled out any beads that are underneath here, underneath our stash here. So I've pulled out uh, just a plain white <laughs> agate bead <laughs> and I've put some of the beading thread through, the coloured beading thread. Now, this is good if you've got lots of different colours. Earlier on we had um, um, a kit with four or five different colours, different blues. So you can oh, do yeah. lots of different colours here. So I went twice through the bottom bead and you can have these loops as large or as small as you want. So that can be part of your design. Oh, and that's then, clever the way you've done that. And then it's just, if you're worried about it moving, you can put a little bit of jewellery glue on the last loop and that will sort of pull the glue through the bead, if you like. Yeah. Then two more beads, and then the design I did, because of the, the shape of the pearls, was to do on the next bead, I went through once. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so that's two loops on there. Now, obviously, with working with cultured pearls, some of the holes will not be very large. So you might need your reamer, which is like a little file that you get in your jewellery kits to make the holes a little Ooh. bit bigger. All right, so you might need to use those. And then take your strand and pass it through. And the reason I'm doing this is for all your newbies, is yeah. to remind you that the beading thread doesn't have to be hidden because our lovely beading thread is shinier and more colourful than most. Ah, and it's so a you shame. want to make a feature of it. Yeah, don't, yeah. Hide, don't always have to hide it. Yeah. So there you can do something like that, which is what oh I did on goodness. the earring. Yeah. And then pop a, a crimp bead on the top and put it on your earring finding. Oh, now, wow. Gemma Crow does uh, a workshop in just using beading thread, and you can make elaborate pendants just by using different weaves and in and out and lots and, of crimp beads and beads. And can I ask as well, um, mm -hmm. if you're one of those people, some people don't like weight in yeah. their ears, do Absolutely. they? Absolutely. You yeah. know, sometimes people yeah. find it very, very uncomfortable. Some people have got very delicate earlobes, yes. haven't they? Yeah. So that's ideal, because you it haven't is. got any weight. No, because the findings, the metal findings aren't there. It's yeah. all, all your beading thread. You're quite right, actually. It's a good point. So, um, yes, it's very, very light if you use the thread. And look at that detail, just from beading thread. Just, just from beading thread. But wow. have a play. Have a play with your designs, and you'll be able to get something that's really quite pretty. Beading thread doesn't have to just be hidden. Exactly. Can, can you imagine if you were born as a beading thread? And you always got hidden. It'd be awful, wouldn't It'd be it? It'd be rubbish, wouldn't it? It would, really. Right, yeah. well, we are going to go to your creations now. We're going to have a little cheeky look at the Wall of Fame. Hello, my lovelies. I love this bit because this is all about you. It is. Isn't it? It is. It is. It's all about you. Okay, now we... Oh, see, now I'm one of these people that can't leave the house without a bracelet. No, I can't. You can see it, can't you? can't see your necklace, can you? But you can see your bracelet. Oh, yeah, I love it. Now, this is number 275. Okay, this goes into the drawer. Now, I like the opening. Can I just show this to you first? This beautiful bracelet. Hello, lovely people. Well, we'll take that, won't we, Yes, we will. We will. Here is my entry today. Um, the centre is made using the Lazy Daisy. Oh, we know that from the Viking knit, don't we? There we go. With 0.6 wire. The bead caps are from my stash. We've been talking about that, haven't we, Debbie? Mm -hmm. From my stash, everything else is from Jewellery Maker. Thank you for great gems and lots of laughter. And that's the key, I think, isn't it, Heather? Congratulations, Heather. And I think that's the whole point. Jewellery making's got to be fun, hasn't it? It has. We it don't has. take life too seriously here on this channel. And um, everybody likes it because it just... Have fun, don't Exactly. They? So, well done, Heather. You're in, the, uh, you're, in the, uh, you're in the draw for next week. You are. And this is number 274. And this is from Bev. And this is a wonderful polymer clay dragonfly and some beads. I like that. And you're good at polymer clay, aren't you? I heard. love polymer yes. clay. And you've got one of our handy andies at the back there holding your design, I can see, where it's propped up against it. It's lovely. Well done, Bev. 
Yeah. It's helpful, nice. isn't it, Andy? Oh, yeah. Oh, very yeah. handy. Good. Very handy. <laughs> right. Oh, a lovely set. Now, lovely necklace and lovely earrings. Okay, to Anne in Lanarkshire. Uh, hello to you all. Hello, Anne. This is my first time, oh, well, congratulations, at sending in a photo of my work. I received the gems as a free gift when I purchased the new large tote bag. Oh, well, that's even better, isn't it? And I set to work straight away. It is finished with one millimetre rounds of Howlite, a real labour of love, as they were so small, yeah, to work with, I would imagine. The clasp is from Jewelry Maker, of course. Best wishes to all, Anne in Lanarkshire. Well, congratulations for your first entry. That's wonderful, and you've made it into the Wall of Fame, so well done. Lovely. Um, this is number uh, 277. There's a lot Ooh. of hard work gone into this. It says, hi all at JM. This is from Margaret. And here's my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. A copper bracelet made from scratch using raw, bare copper sheet and wire. It says, I punched the disc out using my disc punch, textured, polished and stamped them, made jump rings and a clasp using one millimetre wire and attached a quartz on a six millimetre wire. Um, everything's from JM except the quartz. Uh, I really love this bracelet and so pleased with the way it turned out. I'm keeping it for myself. Good for you. My inspiration came from watching Gemma Crow's textured metal show. Thank you, Gemma, and all at JM for making it happen from Margaret. That is lovely. It's a lot Beautiful. of hard work going into that. Well done. You can see that, can't you? Yeah, yeah. made from scratch. Now, I've got something very lovely. glamorous now, oh, Debbie. Yeah. Isn't it lovely? Oh, 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 oh. Tell you what, see, if I went to a crap, I'd buy this instantly oh, in a heartbeat. Yep. Um, hi to all at Jewelry Maker. My name is Mary. Well, hello, Mary. And I've been watching Jewelry Maker for a few years. Well, thank you, Mary. And I'm sending in this entry to the Wall of Fame where you've made it. Hope you like my entry. We love it. Uh, my, um, my entry to the Wall of Fame this week is a necklace and earring set. The necklace is on chain with gold and silver links of chain mail and gold findings. Fuchsia tiger's eye puffy pear drops. They are stunning. And coloured coated quartz faceted rondelles all from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to everyone. And and just to reiterate there, because sometimes we omit to mention that, don't we? The draw, you get, the runner-up gets £50, uh, which is a lot. Uh, the price is well out here, my goodness me. Yes, it gets it a lot, lot, doesn't it? Absolutely. And the winner gets £100. Oh, yeah. Uh, so everybody gets entered in, even if you get shown or not. So don't worry. If you haven't quite made uh, the, the, you know, we don't get to sit. We get so many. So we're very grateful, so thank you. Right then, thank you, Debbie. Okay. Um, right then, after the break, uh, which we're going to next, we're going to have stunning, oh, stunning green amethyst. We can't wait to show you them, and we'll see you just after the break. Jewelry Maker offers an extensive range of creative workshops for all levels, from beginners right through to advanced. Each workshop is run by our approachable tutors who are all friendly, knowledgeable and are specialists in their field of expertise. Our popular courses are tailor-made to suit your needs and to help you get started with a new hobby or to advance your skills onto the next level. We keep the class sizes small to ensure you get plenty of one-to-one -one attention, so book early to avoid disappointment. For more information, contact our call centre or visit our website. If you're new to Jewelry Maker, simply contact our call center and we'll send you a tutorial DVD and get started booklet all free of charge. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewelry, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order for just 50p and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from the Genuine Gemstone Company. Did you know that the Jewelry Maker phone number is free from a UK landline? Now you can spend those extra pennies on more shopping. Come and join Jewelry Maker on Facebook and get involved with over 50,000 people who have liked us. You'll get up-to-date information about our channel from the latest images of designs by our fantastic guests. Gossip on what is coming up in the shows and the newest information on our workshops. You can get in contact with jewellery makers all over the world and get some fantastic hints and tips. Simply search Jewellery Maker in the search box or go to facebook.com forward slash Jewellery Maker UK and you're there. You don't even need to have a Facebook account. We can't wait to see you there. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
we are coming back to you this morning, well it's this afternoon now isn't it, this afternoon, with a presenter pick, oh yeah we got, now if you were watching a moment ago, we were talking about some beautiful, is Zena here with you by the way, Zena and Debbie, Oh, lovely Debbie over there. Oh, she just jumped back. Oh, she Sorry. positively catapulted into that oh, chair. I did. Then, didn't I you? did. I did. I'm quite used to Jenny talking to me just as you're about to leave the chair and oh, she had to right. run back. Yeah. She, yeah, she. But I do love her. I do I love her, Jen. <laughs> um, I, I just wish I hadn't got rid of her chickens. She used to bring us in eggs, didn't she? She did. I do miss me eggs off Jenny. I do. I lovely Jenny. Uh, so Zena here with you. Thank you. It's only about my third time off. I've got my money here for a couple of hours. You're all right. Um, got lovely Ali coming up at one o'clock as well today. But we've got a presenter pick. Uh, when we were talking earlier about the beautiful, good-sized uh, amethyst we had earlier that Emily texted in on, um, I did mention you could get it in green and pink, didn't I? I did mention that, didn't I? Well, as if by magic... We've got the beautiful, and it is a lovely pastel green. They do need to be seen in the flesh, so to speak, to be fully appreciated, in, in my opinion. Okay. Oh, they just, they do glow, don't they? They've almost got that, you know, that Paraba Tourmaline glow. Oh, they are, let me just turn them to one side again, because they're graduated. Um, already a lot of people are here okay for this you're getting an enviable 145 carats of pastel glowing green amethyst um, you've got these different sizes again Gail you're multi buying oh I tell you what Gail we don't know if Gail's buying for herself or she might be buying you could sometimes I guess you could buy for a friend if they can't watch can't you I suppose you could do that as well and uh, have like a swap shop or you could have your own swap shop, couldn't you? Um, so 145 cats. Can you see? I'm just going to take it off the hand for a moment just to show you this beautiful twinkle look again. So lovely luster again. Graduated again look. Can you see? To, up to those huge ones in the centre. And lovely, lovely detail. Beautiful facet work. I mean, because we've been in the business now, um, well, as a company, sort of over 10 years now, how long has jewellery been, been going? Um, nearly five, five nearly years, five is it, years, this year? Yes, yeah. Oh, gosh, on Bank Holiday Monday, we'd be five. Mm-hmm. Oh, we've got some big things planned, apparently. We have. Oh, I hope I... Oh, I'm not going to be here that day, am I? I might just, I might just come in. Uh, you only photo bomb. I might studio bomb. I might just just come in. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> You're not on scene. Go away. <laughs> but oh, how lovely! Five years old. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so um, yes, but the reason I was talking about the the, the 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 time that we've been in this business is because we do work. We have built up a relationship with some of the most phenomenal gem cutters in the world. Some of the, the some of the most talented lapidarists in the world. Okay, right, don't forget you can call in 0800 644 655. You can check out online, you can even check out on the Jewelry Maker app. Oh, we sound dead up to date, don't we? Oh, we've got a young man, the lovely Peter. Hello, Peter. I do like it when we have a lovely, lovely man coming. Um, lots of, everybody, again, multi buying. Some people are buying two, some people, some people are buying three. We haven't even given you the price, have we? I'll tell you what. 19.95 for 100 and it's my presenter pick I mean can you blame me 145 carats a beautiful pastel green and I do love the way we go to the detail with your lovely tassel it's always a chorus you know corresponding lovely color isn't it just lovely beautiful oh is that the case ah right so apparently went I didn't realise that. So gems of distinction. The reason when you get the lovely corresponding tassels like this, guaranteed pedigree. Oh, that's what they mean. If it's got a tassel, it's uh, it's it's. Oh my goodness me! I'm now into double columns. Just to warn you, what does that mean? On my screen, where the names come up. Oh, Rene, my best friend at school was called Rene. The screen has gone into double figures. It's actually triple figures. So basically, tri triple columns. Because I've got on the right hand side, I've got everybody on the web. On the left hand side, it's gone into double lines now. Double columns. That means there's a lot of people. That means there's a lot of people. They're going fast. We're very, very busy today. So thank you ever so much for your time. And thank you for watching. It's really, really, we don't take it for granted. It's lovely. Okay. 
So, um, I'm, I'm guessing they're going, well, have we got many left? Okay, half the stock is, half, half the availability has gone already. Okay, so uh, quite a few people on the phones. So again, and if you ever get held up on the phone, don't worry because certainly in the UK here, that's a free phone number. So you've got to worry, have you? Okay, 1995. They're lovely. They are lovely. Good luck. Good luck. Right, number seven. Oh, well, that's a great bundle. Oh my goodness me! Right. The weight, so you know, I tell you, we're going to have to start going to the gym, pick up some of these weights of gemstones, I'll tell you. Right, how many we got? We got one, we got two, we got three, we got four. I'm going to show them in two, two lots, if that's okay, because I haven't got that big a hand. You know, there's only so much I can fit on. Okay, here we go. Let me show you these first. They're lovely. Oh, I do love this job. Oh, it's a joy. Okay, so these are the first two sets. Okay, every single one is natural. I mean, isn't planet Earth fantastic? We must say, mustn't we? Oh my goodness me, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so we have got, um, what have we got here? We've got white, uh, the white magnesite. Oh, white magnesite, that looks lovely, doesn't it? Absolutely beautiful. We've got black rutile quartz, utterly fascinating gemstone. When you see those beautiful rutiles within the gem, it's just amazing. Okay, so that's a, again, that's another lovely contrast, isn't it? With the white mag magna site and the lovely black, um, black rutal quartz. Okay, again, great carrot weight. I mean, do you know here, we've got on the black rutal quartz, 250 carats, 400 carats. Okay, so you get those. You also get in this bundle, and it's a brand new bundle, as you can see, as it's telling you behind me in great big letters. Okay, massive. I wasn't going to miss that, was I? Is it new? Oh, yes. <laughs> Okay, and then we've got here, we've got the lovely black tourmaline. Oh, got to love tourmaline, haven't we? It's a gorgeous black tourmaline and multicolour fluorite. Now, Debbie, I'm not sure if you've worked with multicolour fluorite, but I tell you what, I've got so many designs that we've seen coming into the business lately with multicolour fluorite, and it's so beautiful. Yeah. Um, I've got fluorite for my uh, challenge today, and oh, I said, said, yeah, I said to Jenny earlier, we haven't seen fluorite for a long time on the channel actually. Oh right. Um, not for a few months I don't think. And it's lovely to see it back it's fascinating, where it should it? be, you know, yeah. with all the other gemstones. Because it is, it's a fascinating gemstone, you're quite right. And the delicacy of the, of the colours, it's beautiful. And they're lovely spring-like, aren't mm. they? They're really lovely. And can I just say, Debbie's quite right, I've been presented on the lounge for nearly two years now. And we've only just had multicolour yeah. fluorite come in yeah. after two years. So Debbie's absolutely right. So it's a real treat. Real, real treat. Right, let's give you the price, shall we, my lovelies? Oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to squeeze them in, because they're all friends. I'm going to try and get all four strands on my hand. Shall we do that? Okay, right then. We're going to give you... Is it going to... Are we going to give you another fantastic... We are, aren't we? Yes, we are fantastic. Okay. £13.80 for all st four strands. But I've got a feeling we're going to go a bit naughty. We are, look. The arrow's going down. Okay. 9 95 Okay, so 9.95. So do you know that that's just less than two pound fifty a strand. Two pound fifty a strand. Yeah, and the two the, these two strands are double the length. Okay, so on your multicolour fluorite and your lovely black uh, gorgeous tourmaline, uh, then good goodness me, double strand, double strand. Okay, right, 9.95. I tell you what we're going to do. We've got so many lovely, lovely, lovely um, bundles here that are brand new as well. Here, we're going gonna, we're gonna to bring you a few, a few on the trot, aren't we? We are. Now, what was number? Oh, that went there, didn't it? Right. Sorry. Now we're going left and right. Oh, the okay, okay. Uh, right on the right. What am I going for? Number 40. She's chatting away to me, and I'm so busy yakking to you. Oh, is this the gemstone boxes? Okay. Debbie's busy away there with a challenge, aren't you, Debbie? I am. You're all right, lovely. Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Oh, does it? Oh, right. Okay. Now, I think these are quite new to the show, aren't they, the pendant findings? Um, I'm going to show you this in a moment. So, in this kit, you get not only a pendant finding, which I will show you in a moment, you also get these three lovely individual gemstones. They're an oval cut. Okay. Now, do these gemstones fit in the pendant binding that we've got? That would be handy, wouldn't it? It would be good, wouldn't it? It would be good. Um, so, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to get the pending binding out for you. Okay. So, again, 
Like Debbie was saying earlier, with me being new to jewellery maker, I think these are fantastic for, for a newbie because you get, let me just show you this first of all, you get the pendant finding, let me pop that, pop that in front of this, let me show you this look, okay, I'm putting it behind that black background, can you can really see the lovely, lovely, um, now is it, is it, let me just, yes, sterling silver, but what the beauty is here, you've got a ready-made pendant, all you've got to do is pop in one of those beautiful gemstones and fold over and secure the four prong settings there. Okay, then attach a beautiful silver chain. We've got tutorials on the jewelrymaker.com website. How good are we to you? We've got all the tools to do that because you do, you do need fantastic tools to do all the work. Have a look on the website, www.jewelrymaker.com and it's a wealth of experience on there. I tell you, I've been fascinated. I'm so new. I've been watching Debbie's Chain Mail. I've been watching, was it Gemma's uh, Viking Knit? Oh, I've got a whole pile of DVDs from Jewelry Maker next to my... I can't stop watching them. Every time a fella comes in, what are you watching? Jewelry Maker. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So, the pendant sterling silver you then got three lovely matching there's it there you go look can you see look beautiful and you just fold those prongs over so it's a relatively easy way to introduce it to, to dip your toe in the water of jewelry maker okay gorgeous quality here now these you do get and, and again um, Gem, uh, Fleur was saying last week when I was presenting with Fleur she actually buy these buys these for her children and they collect them they don't necessarily pop them into jewellery, but they're collecting them as an actual individual, you know, gemstone, loose gemstone collection. That's a good idea as well. So as you can see, we've got the glorious citrine. Just beautiful. Then we've got our trusted amethyst. Can't go wrong with purple amethyst, can you? And then we've got a glorious black spinel. We started uh, with black spinel a couple of hours ago with me, didn't, didn't we? All three. So with the silver, you've got the warm citrine, You've got the regal amethyst and we've got the black spinel for that really big statement look. So there's your pendant. Sterling silver, you do get the, and again, you can um, obviously, can we get the pendant um, findings, the, the pendant um, separately as well? Okay, because obviously what you'd ideally like to do is pop, pop a couple more of those pendants in as well, so you could make three, couldn't you? Okay, £22.90. That gets you the gemstones. Oh, is it? It should be again. Oh, I'll tell you what, you lot. You lovely, gorgeous lot. Keep them. Yeah, they are keeping me on my toes. Just going give to you, give you a little view there, look. There you go. Okay, so there's your pendant. There's your amethyst. There's your stitch. What price are we going to go to, Hel Helena? Shall we have a look? 1790. Oh, I've read it out before. Oh, I gave it away then. Do you see that the, the thing of anticipation? I, I lost it, didn't I? Poor Eleanor. Poor Eleanor was saying it in my ear and I, and I, I divulged. I can't keep a secret, Debbie. It doesn't matter. I can't keep a secret, Debbie. I get, I get too excited. <laughs> I do. I do. Can I tell you something as well? What happened to me today? I drove to work and I saw something come. Oh, and I'm glad you. Oh. We just had a lovely picture of a meadow, and that's really funny. You didn't know what I was going to say. No, it's perfect, because I'm going to talk about a, a meadow. How weird is that? A meadow has just come up on my screen from the lovely Helena. I was driving to work. Has anybody ever seen this before? Right, you know all lovely little sheep and little lambs? I've never seen... I had to stop and pull over and take a photograph. I had to reverse and pull back. A whole field of entirely black sheep? I've never seen anything like... Never it's, seen that. It's fascinating. Whole, whole field of black, all, every one of them. You didn't have to take a double. Oh, no, it was fascinating. I'm sorry, I just felt I had to share that with you. Um, new bundle. It was fascinating. New bundle. Um, a lot of you going for this. Yes. A lot. Oh, we're going to meet all the lovely, gorgeous lot out there in the uh, Sunday experience in 15 minutes. Okay, 1795. 17.95. Okay, good luck. Brand new bundle there. We've had a lot of brand news, haven't we? Oh. Okay. So we've just done 14. We're now going to. Oh. Okay. Lots of head pins. Oh, all different colours. Look. Can I? Do, do you want to take them out, or do I just? Shall we? Shall we take a few out? Oh, these. Do you get the? Now, do you get the box? Did you get the box as well? Oh, handy storage. Oh, we do love. We do love a bit of storage, don't we? 
I love it when my magazine from one of those famous stores comes through my door and I've got, I've got pages and pages of reading, better storage. Now, I'm going to give you one of each. We're going to show you on the close-up while I have a little play with my tweezers. Well, I'm actually going to do two at a time, that's what I'm going to do, because I'm not feeling brave with the tweezers. All four different... Oh, can I put them in my fingers? Ow! I didn't put them all in, properly in my fingers. Okay, now you've got four different types. You've got um, silver plated, gold plated, rose gold plated and black colour plated, okay, on the copper. And they're known as a flower head pin. Now, Debbie, why are they known as a flower head pin? Uh, because they've got a flower on the end. I had a feeling you might say that, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to state the obvious. <laughs> <laughs> but they are, they're a flower, they're, they have flower on the end, but they're still a head pin because it's not, they haven't got a, an eye, they haven't got right, a circle. Yeah, okay. But that, and flower detail, you they're can't beautiful. go wrong, It's can like you? having a bead cap already put onto your, your pin. Because yeah. sometimes you have to buy either the tea, tea pin or the, um, the head pin and yeah. actually buy a bead cap and then put it onto your and that piece all of adds wire. Up to the cost it does, of what you're making, but that's it? that's a ready-made sort of bead ready cap. Ready-made. Really. That's what you we want. We like ready-made, don't we? Okay, so we've got the beautiful silver-plated, all 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 copper underneath, but we've got silver-plated as you can see, gold-plated, rose gold-plated on the end there, and the lovely black in the centre. So lovely contrasts as well. Okay, all four of these, and you get a good 50 of each of them. So for those of you really quick, that's 200, isn't it? Oh, I'll tell you what, we're like lightning on the, sun, on the morning show, aren't we? Even though it's the afternoon now, borderline. But yeah, so you get 200. 200. They are going to go a long way. Now, as our lovely Debbie was saying earlier, with findings, you do need a good stash, don't you? Because you do go through them at rather a rapid rate, don't you? So, and it's lovely to have the different colours. I've never seen the black copper plated. That's lovely. Is it quite new to us? I was going to say they're lovely. So you can see there, look, so lovely black. Oh, let me point it right with my fingers. There's your rose, there's your lovely gold plated, there's your silver plated. Now, we're going to, we, we went to a bit of a naughty price on these previously. We're going to honour that price. Now, we should be at 14.95, which is fantastic, isn't it? Fantastic. But we're going to beat that. It's a Sunday tastic. It is the weekend. We'd, oh, twelve ninety-five. We do need a treat. We've worked hard, haven't we, through the week? Most of. I mean, some people are retired, but you've worked hard all your lives. You know, we've paid our taxes. We've worked hard, haven't we? So we need a treat, don't we? We do. We do. So all four there. I tell you what. How do we line them up like that for you in those in those pre-records there? Who sits there and lines them all up? Oh, I tell it. Do do. They, work, you, hard, don't they? they I, do work hard, do don't they? As well, because no, no, my look, I'd probably sneeze just as I've done oh, it. Oh yeah, you know. Oh yeah. Well, do you know what? I'd be hopeless at that because I've got OCD. I'd be there forever. They'd have to be. They'd have to be precision. Did you hear this about? There's a few of these left available. I'm just going to tell you this. Um, people that line things up and make them all unique. You do want them. You do want them to be all the, the, the yeah. same size for that. For that, you know, uh, conformity and whatever. And uniformity. That was the word I was looking for. But did you know? I was hearing about Howard Hughes, the actor, the other day. When he went to a restaurant, he took a ruler, and he measured. This is true. And he, this is how bad his OCD was. Howard Hughes, beautiful man though, of old silver screen. Um, he used to measure the peas, and if the peas weren't all the same size, he sent them back. That's a bit deaverish, isn't it? My goodness. That's a bit deaverish, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I like peas. Betty Pot. Betty Pot. I do like a Betty Pot. Okay, right, good luck on those. Good luck on those. Right, shall I? Oh, we're we going to go for pink amethyst. Oh, I was. Purple, green, and pink amethyst. See, you tell you what, that is spooky because I didn't know what was coming up. Honest, I bet people are going, Yeah, you did. I didn't. I didn't. Right, let me just pop. Oh, let me just pop those back. I'll make it. They make a good. Oh, just pop on the back. Right, so that was number. Um, what were we on there? Four. Was it 14? Oh, we'll put something in the wrong box then. Does that matter if I've got it in the wrong box? Oh, I'm being. They're, they're all said it's all right. What am I doing? Oh, there. Can you see it? It's like, where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Feel me way. Okay. Oh. Okay. 
brand new strand again there's a bit of a theme this morning isn't there uh, brand new strand what I love about oh you're still on that you're still on those beautiful flower head pins there so don't you worry um, okay you can still get those just because we've moved on they're still available don't worry okay just because we're just because I move on it's because we've got so many so many things to show you we're excited okay so again natural okay absolutely natural it's a lovely length actually 20 three centimeter strand 23 centimeter strand uh, we're going to be going to the Sunday experience in a moment aren't we so Debbie I think you're going to be coming across to me Debbie I think I think she is um, but pink amethyst so we've already had the green we've already had uh, the purple now we've got this beautiful tone 50 stunning carrots again graduated let me just show you look so we graduate the size. That's what we mean by gradu uh, graduated. It goes up in size as it goes through the strand. Individually cut and faceted. And they're what's known as um, wheels. That's the, that's, that's, that's the actual description of the shape of the gemstone there. They're lovely, aren't they? Beautiful wheels. You could set the wheels in motion with your own hand. Did you like that link? Did you? Oh yeah. Um, now these are going again. 50 carats of beautiful pink amethyst. Lovely, lovely. Again, individually cut and faceted. 50 carats, 23 centimeters. Oh, we've got beauty walking into the studio now. We've got a whole, oh. All these love, oh sorry, I'm just about to get very excited. We've got the Sunday experience. Uh, coming in and we're going to see everything that they've been creating while they've been sat through there in that room oh it's just a few minutes away okay in the meantime you can still get hold of these uh, lots of people coming through again we've got people in their baskets and um, Yasadar I think that's the most beautiful name in Cambridgeshire I know our lovely uh, Jenny she goes rowing doesn't she on the river in uh, Cambridgeshire she said it's very romantic she says Yet, yeah, can I just, something I do need to mention, um, I usually present on the lounge upstairs in the naughty cupboard. Now I know what price that we would normally charge um, or normally expect you to, to be able to get pink amethyst for, set into jewellery. And it's, um, you know, I do think you get good value for money with amethyst anyway. I do believe that. I think for such a beautiful regal gemstone. But when we go into the different colours, um, I've got a sneaky feeling where I think we should be on this. And I, I have a sneaky feeling you're going you're to undercut it, undercut it, Helena. Should we get the pricing? Seven ninety-five. Okay. Well, we would be considerably higher on the lounge. I can tell you that right now. Considerably. A lot of people interested. Fifty stunning carrots. They are those beautiful uh, graduated faceted wheels. Different sizes there. So three by one, six by two. Uh, Brenda, Rachel, Julia, Claire, Yasadar are the most fantastic name. Again, with these. Look at that splash of purple there beautiful with those pink amethyst can I just show you look we were talking about green amethyst weren't we look at this so that's that's what we had before so you can still there are a few of those left only a few okay you can just see it at the bottom of the screen there but that's just to give you and that what a lovely contrast there to see the do two different contrasts and they all work together don't they look We've had all of these, the pink, the green, the purple, all on this morning's show, okay? Um, so lovely, gorgeous green amethyst. Ooh, oh, it's just hurled itself off. Did you see that then? Had a little world of its, it had a little life of its own then, didn't I? Didn't it even? Oh, tell you what, I need to take more water, don't I? Um, what we're doing? Oh, yeah, clear. Oh, these are a bit, these are a bit funky, aren't they? Okay, we got a full studio going on. We have, we're gonna come over there, they're all over there. Over there. Um, see, oh, look at that. It's a wall of fame in itself, isn't it? It is. Uh, we're gonna go there in a moment, speak to all these lovely, oh, we've got some fantastic creations as well. I can't wait, I can't wait, I'm so excited. All for me? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, we've got these lovely diamond shapes, aren't they? lovely diamond shapes of clear quartz and the clarity is exceptional 
Look, one's fallen out with the rest of them. It's popped out. It wants to be special. Look. Um, so lovely diamond shape. They're gorgeous. I tell you what, they're going to they're gonna make a really contemporary look, aren't they? Each one of those. How many do we get? Can I have a quick count? Well, I'm going to have a little count. Hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 diamond shaped. Beautiful 12 diamond shaped. Just move them either side there for you. Lovely clarity. 20 stunning carrots. We're going to give you a knockout price again, as you'd expect on Jewelry Maker. Lovely, aren't they? 14 95 <laughs> Keep giggling at the price. I know what you should, I know what, you know, when it's set into jewellery, I know what, what you could be charging when you created these beautiful pieces. So it's just fantastic. Fantastic. 20 stunning carrots. And it's the clarity look. Beautiful diamonds. Beautiful, well, diamond-shaped clear quartz. And they're lovely, aren't they? Very innocent, very pure glistening they are delicate aren't they lovely go with every other gemstone as well wouldn't they gorgeous okay right then congratulations to everybody that's managed to get those um again we are racing through these is this a new strand as well only been on once before okay so it's only your second chance to get hold of these okay so there you go right then are we going to are we going to meet all these um oh uh, right then, yes, in a moment, just a moment, I'm, I'm going to walk over there, get, every, get everybody ready, I'm going to have a little chat with everybody, because they've been busy making all their lovely, lovely handcrafted jewellery over there, it looks a bit, lovely array of colour, and uh, we'll see you in a moment. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. These are our lovely Sunday experiences. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. Right, should we start? Who wants Wendy? Are you alright to be first? Oh look at that little face. <laughs> look at that little face, Wendy. So Wendy, welcome. Good morning. Oh, I have good to afternoon. give you I have to give you the microphone so we can oh. hear you. Hello, Wendy. Hello. Sarah. How are you? I am fine, thank you, darling. Have you had How a you? lovely I'm great, thank you. Have you had a lovely morning? Great morning, thanks. Right, so you've all been given different bundles, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Am I right in thinking? Yeah. Hannah's all given yeah. you a different bundle. So you've all had something different to work with. Yep. Yeah. Right, fantastic. And how have you got on? What bundle did you have? That one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, that's something we've just done, I think, isn't yeah, it? it is With the, the magnesite. Yeah. Yes, that's the maxi. I've just learnt that. Magnesite. We don't have that on the lounge, you lucky things. We don't get that. So you've created two lovely bracelets and two beautiful... Do we get to show everything as well? This is Wendy's. <laughs> Wendy's. <laughs> this is Wendy's creation. Oh, and did you have a lovely time with it, Wendy? Great time. Did you? Great time. And you've had cake. Oh, lots of cake. You've had lots of cake. Yeah, yeah none of it's made it into here, Hannah. I'd like to just point noted. out. Julie noted. Yes, Julie noted. <laughs> Have we got a Julie? How <laughs> <laughs> did you get it? Hey, girls. <laughs> right, I'm going to just, I'm going to, I'm so sorry to go. Can That's I swap fine. in? Hi, Hi. who have we got? Kay. Hiya. Hello, Kay. You're all I right. like your hair. Thank you. Did you make that necklace as well? I did. Oh, goodness me, talented lot. And this is your creations in front. Can I see what we've got? So we've got a beautiful necklace, beautiful bracelet and beautiful earrings. Yes, very nice. You've got lovely eyes. Blue eyes. Sorry. I love having a look at what people are all... I do. I do. I just I get fascinated by people. I love it. So again, how long did that take you? How long was that taking you to create this morning? Uh, a couple of hours. Wow, that'd take me a whole. That'd tell me. That'd take me a whole year. That would. I feel awful that we've got to run on every it's time. Okay. I feel like I just get it's to okay. know you, and then I'm squeezing past you. You go. I feel awful. Sorry, Kay. It's all right. Hello, lovely. Hello. How are you? I'm all right. This you. is Janet. That's right. Hello, Janet. Hello. Hello. Okay, so you've gone for the pink, haven't you? Yeah, I thought I'd go completely out of my comfort zone. I don't do. Are pink. you? I don't normally. No, but I thought, yeah. So the blue eyes had to creep in there somewhere. Oh, ah, you like blue, don't you? Ah, Dion likes blue, doesn't she? Yes, yes, yes. Dion, our, our producer, she likes the blue. And that's lovely to see the contrast, the blue and the pink. Yes, uh, the navy blue works particularly well with that pink. 
fantastic and that's a, and that's a lovely thing if you still work with something you, that you love the color that you like you can throw in something get away from your yes. comfort zone and it still works beautifully doesn't yes, it yes it was good beautiful Thank fantastic i'm gonna have such a i'm gonna have a proper look at these when you've all gone so if you don't <laughs> mind um who've we got now jacqueline oh well, that's a posh name jacqueline i don't have to get called jacqueline anyone anyway, i'm bad oh when you're in trouble <laughs> my mum used to say jacqueline jacqueline yeah that's so what it. what what's your, what do you like to be JJ. called jj Yes. Hi, JJ. Hi, yeah. Right. You're not in trouble now. No. So we'll call you JJ. Right. So what have you worked with there, lovely? I've what gemstones? I've done the tiger's eye um, sort of nuggety bits and the um, tiger's oh, eye lovely. hearts. And I had a strand of teeny weeny weeny bees that really put me out of my comfort zone. Seed beads. Teeny weeny weeny. I don't Is that because they're fiddly? Weeny. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because they're fiddly. My oh, well, well, fiddly. Look, good for you there, because you've achieved something then this morning, yeah. haven't you? You've conquered uh, something. Can I give a shout out to my oh. friend Paulette, Paulette Hughes and Mary Sheard? Hi. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Oh, was it birthday? It's huh? birthday. Was it your birthday today? Yeah. Oh, have yeah. we got time to sing? Oh, no. <laughs> have we? No, no, have we? No. Happy birthday no. to you. Happy no. birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear JJ. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> there we go. So I've got to move on now. It's a birthday. I'm, I'm going on. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's lovely. Hello. Oh, thank you. Who have we got? Andrea. Yeah. Hello, Andrea. Hello. You're lovely. Oh, that's okay. beautiful. I, I made this yesterday with Laura Binding. Oh, really? At your cabochon course. Yeah. Oh, fa oh, so you've been here yesterday as well. Yes. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Sorry, sh can we just can we have a look? Sorry, I'm getting them to go right onto your <laughs> chest there. Sorry, Andrea. But that's and you made that yesterday. That's yes. beautiful. Yeah. Oh, do you see now? And that's made on one of our workshops yesterday. Then. Yes. Oh, so you are. You've come back again today. Yes. Great. Yes. So, what have you made today? Um, these, um, uh, there, I had all hearts, so quartzite and magnesite and Lovely. shells. So they were all hearts, so they were quite Beautiful. difficult to put together. But it was really, really I, interesting putting them together. And I do think you can't go wrong with hearts, can you? No, no. You can't, can you? popular. Lovely. Beautiful. Well, welcome, welcome. Thank you. And we get to save it well. <laughs> Best or last, doesn't it? So, sorry, everybody, I didn't mean that. That doesn't sound good for you, not does it? Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Hello, Chris. Hi. You're you? just awash with beautiful handcrafted jewellery, aren't you? I am. Good for you. <laughs> and so, what have you worked with today? Which? Oh, I like the pearls. Ooh, pearls. Um, and the uh, court, uh, the clear quartz as well. Oh, we've just done the clear quartz as well, but we've had the, just had the diamond shapes. Oh, that's lovely. And I just wanted to go a bit sort of down to Abbey. Oh yes, down to nap. Oh, last series this year, know, isn't it? It's horrible, That's isn't a it? shame, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. What are we going to do without down to nap? Oh, I don't <laughs> know. I don't know. Mr. Selfridge <laughs> and Pole Dark. Don't yeah. start me on Pole Dark, girls. Um, those those are particularly beautiful. Oh, I tell you what. I, That's the oh, first I, time I've ever done. Is it? Like that. Oh wow! Congratulations. Yeah. And hello, Hannah. Can Hi. I come in and say hello to Hannah? Hello. Hello. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, hello. hello. Oh, hello. hello. <laughs> Now, Hannah's, um, Hannah, in fact, the very first time I ever came on Jewelry Maker, Hannah looked after me. Didn't we you, Hannah? Really good. Oh, lovely did, time, she was in her face whenever they pr dropped the prices. She was like, what? I keep, I keep <laughs> giggling. That's the trouble. I think people sometimes think, you know, like with footballers on the telly, when they go, you know, they go to acting classes, I think, when they throw themselves on the floor and they look like they're really upset yes. when they've just done something yes. wrong. The dying and I, fly. Exactly. Yeah. And I think people think that about us presenters and they think, you know, we're told to sort of look amazed. We genuinely are. Genuinely are, aren't Particularly we? Particularly when you, yeah, when you work on a different channel and you come yeah. in here and it's just like, yeah. oh my gosh, <laughs> absolutely, crazy, 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 absolutely. So have you had a lovely day with them all? I've had a fantastic day. Yeah, they've been a really good giggle. It's been good fun. Hasn't fantastic, it? lovely. Don't mention what we've been talking about. Oh, right, okay, <laughs> okay. Right, we're going to photograph all this jewellery. It's going to go onto our Facebook page. Okay, so you're all going to, if that's okay with everybody, obviously. Yeah. Um, yes, okay. Uh, and that'll be there this afternoon. Be there that quick, will it? Yeah. Brilliant. Super speedy editing team. Photography okay. team. <laughs> Lovely. So um, we're just, what are we doing next, sorry? We're going to do some more deals. We've got some, we haven't got long, have we? I'm just looking at the clock. In case you're wondering what I was doing, we've got 20 <laughs> minutes. So we'll be back with you in a minute, bringing you some more deals. Welcome, everybody. I hope you've had a lovely day. Yeah. And um, yeah. hopefully we'll see you again yeah. soon. Yeah. All right. Thank okay, you. see you in a bit then. <laughs> sorry.
That was lovely, wasn't it? I tell you what, it's absolutely lovely because on, on the lounge we get to talk to everybody like we do here on, on the internet, but we never get to meet anybody. So we never get to put a lovely name to the face. I just felt awful that we had to race through everybody so quickly then, but it's a, it's a real treat and it's lovely to sit, speak to so many people there that have tried a new technique for the first time and that lovely beam of pride, you know, where, you, where people have worked with new, new gemstones or new, um, what is it, seed beads? I'm going to get that right on these days. Yeah, the tiny ones, aren't they? So, um, yes, right then. Well, we've got another 20 minutes. 20 minutes. We're going to cram in some deals for you. Okay, so we're going to start with... Um, oh, okay. Now, these are... look, And isn't it lovely to see that everything we've brought you so far... Is it everything this morning that all those um, are available from what we've brought you this morning? That... Uh, and, um, oh, no, I was just going to say, I thought I'd just seen these in one of the creations. I thought I had. Oh, and we've got the seed beads again. Okay, so here we go. Oh, it was so lovely to meet everyone. So lovely. Now, Tiger's Eye. So that we were just talking about this, and she'd used the puffy hearts, hadn't she, in the design. I can't remember which one it was, sorry. Um, but, yes, um, beautiful seed beads. And one of, one of our guests there was just saying it's the first time she's ever worked with the seed beads and how she sort of found it very, very difficult. But she achieved it, and she was really beaming there, so that's lovely. And Tiger's Eye. The reason it was named Tiger's Eye is for the very reason that it does resemble a tiger's eye. It's that simple. It's that simple. 80 beautiful carrots. You've got these lovely, lovely um, beauty. Can you see, look there, they're little hearts. These lovely little puffy hearts there. And it's such a fascinating gemstone. Such a fascinating gemstone, isn't it? It's just lovely. EKGC64 for the code there, lovely. And all those colours that come through. It's beautiful, the way, the different colours from the different angles. It's such a fascinating gem. And again, you could do an entire piece, couldn't you? Because you've got the three different shapes. So we've got the, um, and these are centre drilled on these red tiger's eye. Okay, so centre drilled, just to give you an idea how they're going to actually hang there and fall. Um, five carats of the rounds, 80 carats of the lovely puffy hearts. Okay, and those beautiful little seed beads. And I would imagine, I bet they are quite difficult to work with, aren't they, Debbie? Uh, they are, but they're also sought after because uh, there aren't many places that sell gemstones that small with holes that you can do bead yeah. weaving with. Because some people weave proper chains with them and designs and flowers and what have you. So the Bead Weavers Guild, for, for example, they would snap those up because right. you just can't find them. You just They're just not available? No. Okay. Well, they must be very, very difficult to cut and, you know, to cut and, and drill, as, as Debbie was saying, my goodness me. So, a good carrot weight, again, red tiger's eye. We're going to give you the price. Um, I love the hearts. Love the hearts. So, this isn't the price we're going to. Gosh, right, okay. As I was just saying to the guests there on their Sunday experience, um, that lovely workshop that they've just been on, which you are welcome to attend. Okay, not a problem. Eight ninety-five. Eight ninety-five. Okay, so that is less than three pounds a strand. Okay, less than three pounds already. Florence is on. Yes, Adana, thank you very much for your company. Lovely Alison. Jeans just multi add a multi buy there, haven't you? Okay, and I love. We were saying there those heart designs that were created just. And don't forget all those images. Uh, will, all those that beautiful jewel will be photographed. Will be on our Facebook uh, website later today, and you can actually see these in action to give you that inspiration. They're lovely, lovely hearts, beautiful. Okay, good luck. There's uh, 80 carats in total there. 80 carats in total. So there you go. We have a few available. Okay. Um, sorry, was it box number two? Oh, no. We were just talking there, and, um, and, and uh, the guest was saying, uh, wasn't she, that pink is out of her comfort zone. But what she did, what she did is, yeah, it is a good thing, I think, to go out of your comfort zone. I do think so, absolutely. It does challenge you. That's exactly how I feel. I'm out of my comfort zone here on Jewelry Maker, but I'm loving every second of it, because it's all new. It is like a different language. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful creative world. Okay, but what the lady was saying is that what she did was, she loves blue, like our lovely Dion. She loves blue. So what she did was, she worked with the blue to keep it comfortable. And then what she did was, she threw in the lovely pink that we've got here. Now this is actually, when I say pink, it's actually fuchsia. 
Okay, so lovely, lovely fuchsia here on these lovely strands, as you can see. Three different sizes again. Okay, we've got the starting with the 8 mil. We've got the, as you go up in size, the 10 mil and the beautiful, bold, gorgeous 12 mils. That's a good size. And lovely fuchsia. Really, really look. You know, when we go away, I think this is a great summer. Uh, gemstone because you know when we go away and we, we've got those I was looking at the weekend because I'm going to India in a couple of weeks and it's going to be ever so hot um, and you know you've got those lovely floaty white linen tops that we like they're nice and cool and they reflect the sun put some beautiful fuchsia as a contrast and it will look lovely and again with the absolute array of gorgeous beading wires and threads and, that we've got you can have those lovely contrasts Okay, now these are absolute, oh, cherry blossom. Oh, and cherry blossom's all out at the moment here in the UK, isn't it? Do you know, I drive home onto my estate and there's um, cherry blossom. We've got a cherry blossom outside our, outside our house. Onto our estate. That sounded ever so posh, didn't it? Unfortunately, it's not just my estate. There's lots of other people on it. Okay, it's not just me. I like to think it's just me. But uh, no, onto our estate. Not my personal estate. Uh, but yeah, cherry blossom. Lovely cherry blossom. It's a, it's a lift. It, it is lovely, isn't it? Mm. You've got to love cherry blossom. Apart from when it all blows off in the wind and then you've got it everywhere. That is a bit of a pain. But cherry blossom is the lovely name of this bundle. Gorgeous trio of fuchsia shell pearls. They're lovely. Okay, should we give it the price? The should be price. Oh, yes, the should be price. You know what that means? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you wait for this. I am. Because you're going to be chuffed. Nine ninety-five. I tell you, what, I don't think I'm ever going to get used to this. I don't. I don't think I'm ever going to get used to these prices. But good luck, good luck indeed. You do get the trio, the three different sizes for just nine ninety-five. Our lovely Peter stayed with us in Surrey. Thank you, Peter. And I love the fact that we've got people all over the country: West Midlands, Cambridgeshire, Sussex, Essex, Ayrshire, London, Devon, Surrey, the Highlands, the Highlands. Speaking of which, Andy Murray got married yesterday, didn't he? In his, in his, well, we knew he was going to get married in the kilt, didn't we? We knew that. It was windy yesterday as well. He was a bit brave. <laughs> very, very windy yesterday. We could have found out the truth, couldn't we? We could have done. We could. Um, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Andy. Um, and Judy. Um, cherry Blossom. So beautiful fuchsia pink. Can I tell you something about this colour as well? It's a pointless fact, but something... My mum, her house was, was, coloured, was painted this colour. I don't think that looks like pink to me. Does it not, Debbie? Right, it looks more sort of orangey, pinky, sort of... It's not fuchsia, fuchsia pink, is it? Do you I think? know what you mean. Should I don't it, disagree yeah. with you. It's a more delicate colour, actually. It it's is, lovely. It? I like that very much. It is unusual. I don't disagree with you, actually. Because I don't wear pink, but I would wear that. Somebody, feel free. We've got 12 minutes. Text in what colour you think it is. What hue you think it is? Um, lots of people multi buying. Well done. Lots of people got it in their baskets. Okay, text the message at JM Studio if you can start your message so that we make sure we get it, my lovelies. Now, I'm still chatting. What box, lovely? Number one. Oh, number one. Oh, okay. Oh, these are these are lovely. These. I've just been to a friend's wedding. These would be lovely for, for wedding jewellery, wouldn't they? Is it? Is it? Is that what it is? I tell you, it's all gone a bit spooky today, isn't it? Everything's... I didn't know. Is this called the bridal? Oh, perfectly bridal. Well, there you go. I'll tell you. Now, here we go. Three lovely strands. Oh, I do love this. I love this. How are you getting on, Debbie? Are you all right, lovely? Yes, I'm fine. Oh, she's having a tidy up. I am. She's having a tidy up. We like Debbie. Having <laughs> a tidy up. OK, so these lovely, lovely shell pearls. Beautiful tone, actually, aren't they? Oh, champagne. Who likes a bit of who likes a bit of bubbly? Lovely champagne. Do we prefer champagne or prosecco? Oh, I prefer prosecco actually. I'm with you, Debbie. Oh, everybody's oh everybody's in me. We're all saying prosecco. I think it's because the palette for champagne is quite dry, isn't it? Mm. Quite dry. Yes, and we like prosecco because it's cheaper. Yes, that's what we like. Okay, so these <laughs> lovely champagne. Um, Plain rounds. I can't use the word plain rounds because there's nothing plain about them. Two lovely sizes, lovely champagne, and then your lovely contrasting clear quartz there. We had those clear quartz early with the diamond shape. And, these, and again, the detail on the facet work is just lovely. 
And the beautiful with the quartz, it's going to give you that sparkle, it's going to give you that lovely clarity, and then you've got your lovely champagne. And it is, I love that, perfectly bridal. Is everybody going to a wedding? I've already... Oh, somebody's, somebody's got one in May, somebody's got one in June, I've just been, one, I've just been to one in April. It is bridles. I mean, everywhere. Have you ever seen that when you go past all the islands and the roundabouts that we've got here in the UK? I don't think you've got those in America, have you? But we get placards. Wedding fair here, wedding fair there, wedding... Do you, do you, yeah. do you, present, do you take your jewellery to wedding fairs? Do you no, I don't. No, you don't, Debbie? No. No, she doesn't. don't have time. I don't, don't know where. Time? No, I just don't I have time. That's the thing. They're very popular, though. Very popular. They are, aren't they? Mm. They are, they are. So perfectly bright you could make a lovely fascinator with this couldn't you they're a beautiful color as well that they champagne lovely, color is they? very very lovely very very like pretty that. indeed should we give you the price should we not keep you waiting 1485 1485 are we not stopping there again oh come on you lovely lot i'm sure they're trying to get me in trouble on me on my first few shows I thought she's new, we can get away with it. Ten nights, yeah, blame it on me, I don't mind. As my mum used to say, if you're blaming me, you're giving somebody else a rest. So that's the way I look at it. So lovely champagne, beautiful pearls, and your clear quartz. They're lovely. They are lovely. Can I just show you something as well? Am I, can I just quickly show you? Where have I put those amethysts? Because I tell you what, those amethysts would go lovely with that as well, wouldn't they? Lovely. Can't find them, don't worry. Um, have you ever worked with champagne pearls, Debbie? Mm, quite oh. a few times. And I just think you can't go wrong with just doing a nice stretchy bracelet with a lovely sterling silver charm on the front. And oh, it would nice sell idea. dozens of times over and over that's again. That's a lovely idea. Mm. And again, if you are going to a wedding, and uh, you could actually make the bridesmaid's jewellery and, 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 and gifts yourself, yeah. couldn't you? And, and a stretchy bracelet down. for a little bridesmaid. Lovely idea, brilliant. Yeah. Because then, then they can play with them. It doesn't really matter exactly. if it breaks. Exactly. You know? And at that price... I mean, matter. my goodness me. But they are beautiful. But we, we, we said before in here, some of the pearls are used actually in the bridal bouquets. They're wired into the bouquets oh, now. And they're point. embroidered yeah. onto the dresses. And yeah. So if you have a wedding shop, you, know, you can embroider some of that on or put it in the wow. flowers or what have you. Really pretty. Lovely idea. Mm. Lo that's a good, lovely. I've forgotten about that where it's all sewn into the bouquet. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Absolutely right. And at these prices, you can afford to, can't you? Well, yeah, then you can cut it up and you've got something to remember it by afterwards, haven't you? Can you imagine catching the bouquet as well that the bride, th <gasps> bride throws? It's yes. got champagne pearls in it. You'd be like, yeah, it's all. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> so good luck. Good luck, my lovelies. Good luck indeed. Okay, so uh, uh, the black spinel that we started with earlier today, a whole metre. Oh, yeah. A metre of black spinel. Oh, when we showed you black diamonds earlier as well, didn't we? We only had nine of those left. I don't know how many of those have got left. Um, we'll have a little check for you. And if we've got any left, we'll just let you know and pop them at the bottom of the screen for you. But I did say this is the black diamond look without the price tag. Gold-plated sterling silver. An entire metre of black spinel. And a lovely 25 carats. I mean, this is very elegant strand. You wouldn't have to do a lot to this, would you? We were talking earlier, you know, we could, we could make br necklaces, we could make bracelets, anklets we were talking about for the for, for summer holiday. Yeah, lovely anklet. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, we've got a few of these left, okay? A few of these left. They're lovely, so good luck. Oh, sorry, we could, were we just going to have a little flush again, weren't we? Shall we? They're so beautiful. A whole metre. Gold-plated sterling silver, so very high-end as well. Lovely. 14.95. Okay, a um, few more of those going now. I'm not surprised. Uh, the green amethyst that we had as well. This beautiful, this was our presenter pick, I think, wasn't it? I have a sneaky feeling, my presenter pick. Okay, so we were talking earlier. We've had the lovely purple amethyst. We've had the lovely pink amethyst. And we've got the beautiful green. We've brought you all hues of amethyst in, one, in, in the last couple of hours today. Gorgeous gorgeous sparkle it's like the Sangia green sapphire it's got that beautiful pastel tone it's got lovely sparkle beautiful clarity again it's going to really catch look at the detail in the facet work aren't they lovely now as i said to you earlier we were in we're in double columns on the amount of people that have got these a lot of people have had a multi-buy there as well a lot of you a lot of people have got this in their baskets again we've reignited the desire haven't we Okay, if you don't want to miss out, and I suggest you don't, because they, then they're the rarer colours on the on the on the greens, much much rarer. You'll tend to see the purple, 
beautiful tone as Emily texted in earlier, but the pink and the green, my goodness me, you are getting something exceptionally rare there. They're so beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous facet work. They're lovely. 1995. Okay, my lovelies, 1995. Good luck. A lot of people coming through. A lot of people coming through. Good luck indeed. Okay. We've got a couple more coming. Oh, fantastic. Lemon quartz. Now, I think our lovely, lovely Jenny alluded to these earlier. They are a burst of sunshine. Burst of sunshine. Let me show you. I think you're going to be envious of these. Oh, I can see Debbie looking at them. Okay, here we go. Lot of carrot weight, okay? And this beautiful burst. I'll tell you what, when you've got something so warm as this, it just, it, for me, it's happiness inducing. That's how I feel. Really, really happiness inducing. So it's going to put a lovely smile on your face. Now, again, graduated, these lovely droplets. Beautiful droplets. Yeah, it would go lovely with what we've just shown you. Can I just pop that through there, look? Just to show you that there, look, for that lovely, subtle contrast. Because you don't always want a shocking contrast, do you, Debbie? You just want something yeah, a bit more that's subtle. That's beautiful. It is that lovely, really is beautiful. So that's your pastel greens. I'll just take that away, but that's just to give you an idea of how lovely that would look. Okay, so beautiful lemon quartz. Again, fantastic facet work. You get this every time on these beautiful strands, don't you? Okay, we're talking, I did say a big carrot weight, didn't I? 250 carrots of gorgeous lemon quartz. It's only been on once before, okay? And look at that, can I say, perfect droplet. Perfect droplet look. Beautiful craftsmanship. They are lovely, lovely, as I said, burst of sunshine. Okay, so we're going to give you the price again. It should be $35.95. Now, we've beaten that the once before it's been on, and we will honour that for you. As it's a Sunday-tastic treat, beautiful lemon quartz, $29.95. We've only got a few minutes left of the show. Lovely, beautiful lemon quartz. This buttery tone. It's like a crisp Chardonnay, isn't it? Oh, that crisp beautiful. Chardonnay. Beautiful tone. We've not got long left. I'm so, so sorry. Please, 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 please don't miss out. Okay, good luck indeed. Right, so Debbie, we're going to pop across to you, aren't we, my lovely you girl? You are. We're going to sit, because we set you, uh, uh, Jenny set you a cha uh, challenge early, didn't she? She did, she okay. did. She set me a challenge of two strands of fluorite. Oh, talk about the fluorite earlier. Yes, right? yes, which I thoroughly enjoyed, and I've made that jewellery there. Oh, fantastic. Oh, oh, and we've got some chain mail in there, I can see there, yes, Debbie. We've got all sorts of chain, we've got all, everything in there, yes. Wow. This is all from the, this is all from the, the, the multicolour fluorite that we had earlier? Yes, it is. Wow. And you've made all of this in the last couple of hours. You are one talented lady, aren't you? So this is the multicoloured fluorite. We don't have long. Do you want to talk us through it, Debbie? OK, the first one I did was right on the end because um, we were talking about putting a couple of metals together. So I've used some of the dark graphite links and the silver. And right. used that as a long pendant and a toggle clasp I've sort of beaded around. And you were talking about making a feature of that. What yeah, idea, weren't that's you? Exactly. right. Exactly, yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Okay. And then the second one is just a piece of wire and I've just threaded on lots and lots and lots of chain and then put a droplet from it. Lovely. And That's then you splash of, of, of silver. Pot. Absolutely. Yeah. And then you'll get to know me because I, I always do a tassel. I love things that move. So I had to do my usual tassel. Ah. Um, so I've done a tassel on this one here and then matching bracelets. And one with gold as well, just to show you can use it with different metals. But oh, it's lovely. It's really delicate, but I've still got some left over, but really nice. So you've still got stuff left over again yep. from that one yep. kit. Uh, and the kit was just, uh, sorry, the strand was just eight ninety five. That beautiful fluorite, and that's what Jenny said. Um, well, I think you've, I think you've surpassed yourself, Debbie. Thank you very much. I think the challenge is well and well and truly been. Um, Thank you. I've met it, have I? I've met I think my challenge. I think you've overachieved, Debbie. Thank you. I think you've overachieved. I, feel better I think she has. <laughs> if I had a little rosette, I could pin on you, Debbie. Oh, I would. Thank you very much. I would. I would. So um, there you go. Uh, we don't have. Well, we've got the lovely Ali coming up as well today. You have. We? Yes, Ali. you have. Is she in there? I thought I heard those dulcet around hello, somewhere. Ali. There she oh, is. she comes. Ali and Claire, is it? Yes. Oh, hello, lovely. Oh, she looks beautiful. Okay, we haven't got long. Can I just say, Debbie, thank you. It's been lovely to meet you. And you too. Mm -hmm.
Oh, look at that. Um, and thank you to lovely to meet everybody uh, from the experience. Thank you for your time. Thank you for joining me. Um, and after the break, it will be the beautiful Ali with Claire. So take care. Thank you very much. Bye.